that. <laughs> what the way that you said that and then the stream switched right after. Speak for yourself. Oh, good. We just okay. barely missed it. Yeah, they missed oh it. God. You can say it again. I said, let's go, monster f Let's go. Yeah. For yourself. I'm a, well, uh, a monster. I, I've seen your art with... <laughs> Just don't, don't start, don't start. I've heard Silence. what you think about Slender Man. <laughs> Silence, you tin man. Oh my god! <laughs> Alira just dying in the background. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I don't know if my PC would live if all four of us existed at the same time, so we have opted to the Fugi. But also, this mm. game is so awesome full screen that we kept it full screen. <laughs> Heck yeah, it looks so good. Hello, everyone! Hello. Hello! Can you hear everybody? I think I have to turn Scarlet a little bit above. Let's oh, go oh. boost her. Okay, I think it's good now. Is it good? Hi, I mean, everyone! Guess. Should we all introduce ourselves one by one? Yeah, that might be yeah. good. Yeah. As the leader of Exole, I propose that Scarl goes first. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like go yeah. first, but okay, throw her under the bus, let's go. <laughs> That's the way Exole do. <laughs> Hello, I'm Scarly Onaguri of Niji Sanji E and Six Wavy Luna. Hello. <laughs> Hello! Yay. Scarlet? <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> I'm here! What happened to your Christmas? Did you get cold or something? I don't like Christmas! No! What? She Yeah, she's a Grinch. She was the only one on the Grinch tier in the tier list she made. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Did you just wake up? Like, an hour, like an hour or two ago? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, as soon as we joined this call, I just immediately heard a monster can tear open. <laughs> you didn't hear that! I did hear that! Frank is <laughs> <laughs> So she'll be ready in about 15 to 20 minutes. Silence. <laughs> just introduced her to a few monsters. She'll be good to go. Yeah, I'll be good. <laughs> okay, I'll go next. Hello, everybody. I'm Folger Ovid of Niji Sanji Yen's Fifth Wave Noctix. It's lovely to have you here. Yay! Hey. Let's Hi. Go, I'll go. I'm the Weewa. I'm from <laughs> you know this you is you are, my channel. Oh, I am Niji Sanji Yen's First Wave Leslie. Yeah! Yay. I love Polly so much! <laughs> I can't wait to date that ghost! Cause she... She what? wants to embrace some of that ectoplasm! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! But, but that's gonna be really interesting. What if I want to go for Polly? Just to make it all dramatic. I'm gonna fucking fight you! <laughs> yeah, you actually oh, have, to have, have to just, like, be better at dating them. You can, like, move people away from each other's tables and stuff and fuck with the other players. It's great. You can well, both go for the same person. It's it's like real high school that I never uh, got, got to be a part of. <laughs> but oh, that's man. okay, because I'm Dopey on Drop Scythe. I'm wave number seven of XLA, which means that we're in the cool, dark, emo-ish, uh, edgy school where we get to uh, <laughs> do cool stuff like... not crimes. Anyway. <laughs> what? Damn, the dark, edgy wave that doesn't do crimes couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I'm me either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally from Last of Light. How are the volumes, everybody? Why is everyone's playing Ark? Stop it. <laughs> I know, right? The bottom of my Freaking screen is just Ark, 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 Ark. <laughs> yeah, everybody's slowly getting drawn into it. Volume good. It's the next Minecraft. Yay! Can you date the dinosaurs in Ark? <laughs> no. I mean, you can, you can make them date each other. Technically. You can do anything with enough imagination. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it doesn't look like the game for me because I'm all about that romance that we're going to see in Monster Prom. <laughs> My God. Oh, you are in the right place. Let's go. Yeah, oh, I yeah. think I'm in the right place. Okay. <laughs> Voice interjections. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the thing. It's like, do you want them to voice or do you want us to do the voices? But they're not gonna voice the whole thing, right? It's just like, like that random voices. I don't, know. I don't know if they have like the whole voice or just this like the beginning of a word. I think this is new. Usually at the beginning they say like, "All right, 
Yeah! <laughs> Maybe this is, yeah, for people that do it, like, multiple people voicing things. This is probably Oh, yeah, fine. people are saying in chat it's only snippets, so, yeah, it's just like words, just Ooh. like in any visual novel. keep it on. Sweet. Yeah, we like that. Ooh. Four okay. players. Sweet. Oh, okay, I have the DLC, so we can play second term. Oh, we're going to be here for a while. It just adds two new characters. Like, oh, it adds, it's, it's pretty two, much the same. Yeah, it's, I think it's the exact same, but this one has, this one has Calculester and Zoe. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I, yeah, I was worried that it was going to, like, continue the storyline. So, yeah, second term sounds good. Then we just add some things. <laughs> this is a lie. It's not 120 minutes. This <laughs> game is, like, six hours long if we play the full thing. I think that's funny because, like, the How Long to Beat website, because I always use that to track things, it said the main game was like 60 minutes. It's like short game, 90 minutes. No. Full game, 120. And Illyra's already said the full game is like four to six hours. The full <laughs> game is. The... Fair enough. <laughs> well, it's... I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the train ride. Okay. The Polar Express train ride. Heck oh my god. Yeah. Would you smash or would you pass the Polar Express train literal? I was always of the opinion that it's smashable. <laughs> Polar Express train? Nah. Hogwarts Express? Fuck yeah. You see that big bright red train? Are we Let's really go. talking about smashing trains? Yes. yes. Yeah. What's your favorite train, Skull? What do you think about Choo Choo Charles? <laughs> what that mouth? Oh, Scar is left. <laughs> <laughs> he ran away. Oh, welcome back, Scarla. Hello. There you go, Luca in chat. I'm more of a Choo Choo Charles guy. I'm gonna be more honest. Choo -choo I guy. would rather smash Choo Choo Charles than the pickle lady in that game, though. What about Thomas? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thomas? So Thomas, yeah, at least Thomas can talk. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Thomas the Train train? Yes. Mm. I like Edward. I don't remember oh any God. of them. Edward was the green one, right? No, he's the he other blue the one. the other blue one. Oh. I like the big blue one, Gordon. Gordon, yeah. Yeah. That's Gordon's also funny. That's also Pomu's Oshi. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went to Thomas Land together. The three of us. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, Thomas Gordon. My Oshi. <laughs> Thomas Oshi. <laughs> no. Oh my God. <laughs> God. I love that they know the names and went to Thomas Land. I know, right? It was fun. As a liar in their own world. <laughs> Percy is a good one, too. He's Percy is one of the other names I actually know. That's the green one. That's Thomas's bestie. There we go. Probably I his most like green shipped green character. One. All right. <laughs> they ship the tanks. We'll ship, we'll ship the trains. Oh, uh, God. People ship everything. This is 2022. True. It's true. True. But not for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> True, only a few days left. Oh, spooky high school! City years of my lives! Yeah. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes girl. reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to arc survival. Always willing to live <laughs> life to the fullest. Yeah, I'll be having any trouble with that. <laughs> we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh! Okay, this oh, is dang. all the different players. Okay, so this is going to be your player, Alira. I get to pick first? Yeah, your host yeah. Pick. You get first pick. Okay, well, I like this one. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. Name! Ooh. Uh, I guess I just have to put a, 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 a I guess can I can be whoever I want. You want a way, way. Yeah. A wee one. I guess I can be whoever I want to be. My brother? No. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be El Wee Wee the El third. Wee wee. <laughs> the third. Yeah. El Wee Wee the third. I'm gonna be El. Yeah. So fancy. And he's Indeed. gonna be a, a guy. He's gonna be a hot guy. Ah, Bon Bon. I, I can do this. Cute. Uh, who wants to be a player too? You do. Okay. <laughs> All right. What color oh, you want? Fuck. You know I want big zombie boy. Come on, he's so buff. <laughs> what would you like your name to be? Name him. Uh... Funky. 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 Funky will do. Like this. Funky. Yeah. All right, you good with he? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, sure. 
the fucking um, Sung sure. <laughs> I forget. Oh Whenever God. I play this game, I forget that he's voiced by Sung <laughs> <laughs> I love that voice. God, he does so deep, so good. Okay, who's next? Uh, me, no. We're doing it in order Actually, of... Yeah, debut of, date. Uh, yeah, debut date, exactly. Okay, well, which one do you want? That was too nice. Give me the spicy red on fire. Okay. Oh, yeah. What would you like to be called? Mm, name me... Uh, Let's see. What's what's that red train in uh, Thomas? James. Oh my God. James. <laughs> James. James. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. And make, make it, it double. double. Do you not tell people within our nation? Whoa! That was really good. Wait. No, I don't even know it. I know this song. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Let's go. You go with she. It's Rocky. Alrighty. Shout time. Let's go. Shout time. Scarlos. Wait. Scarlos? <laughs> like this? Carlos. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so what perfect. pronoun would you like? She's good. Alrighty. Let's go. Scarlos, <laughs> let's go. Scarlos. Scarlos. <laughs> and we had yet to experience his ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Wow. I Look at these cuties. I know, they're all so cute. Actual himbo right here. Oh, uh, himbo dog boy, just himbo the way you want it. Himbo dog. <laughs> that guy on the just right. on the left. Oh, which one? <laughs> that guy all the way on the right. He That's has some big thing. Squidward uh, energy. <laughs> Wait, this one or this Wait, you one? Yeah. Second from the right, oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah second guy. from the right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I he didn't has realize. Have... I didn't realize I that the uh, computer was part of the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you can get the computer. The computer, he's voiced by a Jacksepticeye. <laughs> Oh, no, no way! way. Wait, no challenge, <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> That's the worst awesome. thing you You'll, you'll, you will hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember oh, it clearly. Yeah. Three weeks were left, and as we were fan as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of our eight most ch ch charismatic classmates. Uh oh, reading. <laughs> Scott Howell. Whoa. Of course he is. Ooh. He's so Is that Aww. Aaron Hansen? I'm not sure. Maybe. This game has a <laughs> crack cast. That'd be great. He's so precious. Let's check. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it is Aaron. Ooh. Let's go. Werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Binana Ryugu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sweet oh yeah, she's a bitch. I love her already. Genocidal. <laughs> genocidal, yes. Genocidal. This is Red Evil Finana, my fucking so, wife. Red Finana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't even have to give Polly a name. It's just Alira's wife. That Polly maybe dies. Or what else? Party ghost with an unsustainable hunger for all the wrong things. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. This is like this guy is like the. Everybody loves this guy. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> oh, he's angsty. Really <laughs> steaming with a taste for destruction and the love of fire. Let's go. Liam. The Lion Court. Hipster vampire who standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Aww. Aww. Zoe. Forever. <laughs> a rich cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. No way! She's a nerd? Let's go. Calculester. <laughs> Calculester. <laughs> Calculus. Library computer who has become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Oh no, he had to deal with people searching, kids searching on him all day. That's going to be terrible. Oh, oh, oh yikes. God. And Vera! <laughs> Self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Okay, so it's between her and the mermaid for me. <laughs> oh my god. One of them will work. It was clear. I'm, I'm yeah, pulling for, for for Zoe. Hey! She's got some... Oh, sorry. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Are we fighting? I kind of want Zoe too. <laughs> Wait, which one's Zoe? Is she the Eldritch Horror? Yeah. Yeah, the Eldritch Horror. She's very cute too. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. It had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. Give it more daunting. We only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, mm. we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. 
Heck yeah. I'm very Let's afraid. Go. I'm not afraid at all. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Pop's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Don't worry no more. <laughs> We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sticko you are. Monster Prom Perfect. stupidest pop quiz ever, TM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Ooh. Oh, oh, wee wee. How would you talk a cop out of arresting you? Use your seduction skills, wink. They don't call it the fuck the police for nothing. <laughs> they don't call it fuck the police for nothing. Use your gaming skills. Everyone knows that a police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them in a fair Yu-Gi-Oh card duel. Use your acting oh. skills. Convince the officer that you're actually the police. You know what? Go for the overkill and make them pay you a fine. I have to beat them. <laughs> Number two, obviously. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Yeah, yeah my yeah, trick yeah. deck That's will literally the wrong take the franchise. <laughs> Send. I know it's just another geek one. Come on. <laughs> Funky's turn. Oh me. Seduction scales a wink. <laughs> Fuck the police, the if you know skills. what I mean. <laughs> That's obviously the true ending. The acting skills. This Heck one, yeah. your acting skills are. Right, yeah. Scarlos. I got tits, that's all I got going for me, I'll fuck them. <laughs> you have a lot going for you. <laughs> I have boobs. Let's go Skyless. Damn, Skyless. <laughs> if you could put a curse on your worst enemy, what would it do? The curse of always meeting obnoxious people at parties who are super into new fad diets that feel the need to explain them in detail. Oh, God. Oh! Yeesh. The only thing worse than vegans. <laughs> Keto dieters. <laughs> I'd curse them to fall in love with a wonderful person and be happily married for years before they realize that all this time their partner was a wild part, wild panther in disguise. Then the <gasps> panther viciously devours my enemy. A classic. God damn. Uh, <laughs> that was vicious. You can't rely on the effects of a curse. I prefer to take care of my enemies the old fashioned way, exposing them to unsafe doses of radiation over the course of several years. Oh, that takes God. work. <laughs> The first one! <laughs> the third one, let's go! Oh, you are clawful! <laughs> yeah! Yo, I'm all about that falling in love stuff. Let's go number two. <laughs> I love how different we are so far at the beginning. The first one, the real pain. True. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my god, your partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick, come up with an idea for a great gift. Abstract Ooh. concept of gratefulness. Terrible. Silly toy that makes silly noises. Head of their fiercest enemy. Ooh. A pony. Always a pony. <laughs> Anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sorts. Oh no. Anything on fire. Or a weapon. No, no. A weapon of fire. <laughs> <laughs> A silly toy. I know which one would get you Polly. <laughs> I know, but I'm being my true self. Oh, hmm. Give me the head of their fiercest enemy. <gasps> Give me something on fire. It matches my head. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> a pony. Always a pony. Aww. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh. If you're an ice cream, which flavor would you be? Spicy chocolate. No, chocolate on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> Tequila and Coke. <laughs> why a plutonium? Why is this mess? You know why. <laughs> Double cream de la. How do you pronounce this word? Guy. Gu 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 Nobody knows what that is. And At least I know meringue. meringue. Meringue, yeah. Meat! Ikasumi. What's Ikasumi? Uh, squid, squid something? Eating? Like oh, past the oh. Me! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Plutonium. Wow. Plutonium. What is that? Explosive. Death. Give me, give, me the, give me the chocolate on fire. It's a taste you can only experience once. I want the moraine. Give me the moraine. Hey. I oh, I'm Robo Boy. I have like a. Do I love himbo so much oh. that I can only pick himbo-loving options? 
<laughs> so basically, the way the game works is that every... So you have your stats here on the side. Mm. And then all the different places that you go will affect your stats. So everywhere... If you want to like raise a specific stat, like for me, my boldness is really lacking. So I should mm. go over here. For example, and you can go to all okay. the different places, and it'll help you raise your stats so that you can woo people by talking God to them. I have no charming qualities whatsoever. <laughs> 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 you, you're. Oh, I was about to say you're funny. You're, you're smart. Look, you have an eight in smart. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uchen has ten in smart. <laughs> I'm not the best in anything. But but you are the most bold out of all of us. Look, seven. Yeah, oh, that's true. I am bold. Me and Alira are both tiny bold. You're like, you're going to be able to just jump on everything before we get there. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a strategy. All right, I'm Heck going. Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Not the bathroom. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Guess some people <laughs> just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you have plus zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Oh! Pop, 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 pop. <gasps> Scott oh, and no. Polly pull you aside. One of them is holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> How are we going to divide the characters? Mm. Do you have an Aaron Hansen voice, Topia? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we need your help, bro. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, no. <laughs> I can you have to give him more hair. Give him more hair in his voice. Give, give him, him hairy hair. hair. Yeah, give <clears> him <throat> chest hair. Yo! Oh! We need your help, bro! <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was so I can good. hear the howl. Terrible. <laughs> okay. I can hear the howl. We want to do Polly, a wheeler's best girl. What do you oh. want to do, a wheeler? I don't mind either way. Do you want a voice or Skyla? Oh, whichever, whichever is fine. <laughs> I, as the leader of Exolay, I dictate that Skarl voices Polly. <laughs> oh god, he's the Kaicho everywhere, let's go! <laughs> so I read this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. The midterm for AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow, and we're so, so unprepared. So cute! We tried everything we could think of to get ready! I rolled up the textbook and smoked it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Terrible. And I made, I ate my homework. <laughs> but nothing worked. We only got one option left. We gotta cheat, bro. We just need to figure out how to do it without messing with the teacher. Hmm. <laughs> or with messing with the teacher. Either way, if you can help us, we'd be super grateful. She's oh, yo, so you got a good hot. voice for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the incentive you need. <laughs> you hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. Oh shit. So the answers, you can pick, they always give you two answers, but I think based off of your stats, like, they depend. So like, because I'm not that creative, if I choose like a more creative answer, then I think the risk goes, I think there's like more risk. Oh. But they're pretty, they're pretty difficult to tell which one is which. <laughs> oh yeah. Just take the test like well. normal, then use the time machine to go back and change your answers. Write all the answers on the teacher's face. He'll never see them there. As the masters of visual novels, we should not be able to know what's, what's up, right? Oh, yeah, True. definitely. Uh, um, we, we ascended this crack squad because we're all visual novel masters. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, let's just use a time machine. <laughs> 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 See, I told you, El Wee Wee the third would have a time machine. Polly reluctantly hands Scott five dollars. <laughs> Damn, Scott, you really are good at guessing when people have time machines. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you've just got an incredible sense of timing. Hey. Now, come on, let's grab this time machine and go screw up casualty. <laughs> Oh, you, Ooh, you have a himbo. Oh, the himbo loves... Oh, you were going to use that time machine to kill a monster. <laughs> what? <laughs> but this seems about as important. You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Um, sure. Um, okay. sure. This is um, where you can see all the different types of... I think I'll go for money. 
Money? Okay. I feel like either one of the two I'm aiming for probably want money. <laughs> 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 do you want us to do the narrator on our turns, or do I you want to so, always yeah. do the narrator? Okay. What day you spend some time on the library's PCs, mining some Bitcoin? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's aged interestingly. <laughs> this is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. True. It's true, it's true. Anyway, you gain <laughs> plus two Bitcoins, which is equal oh, to two million dollars. Oh, What's well. that? I'm done with school later, guys. Oh, which is unfortunately wow. equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. That's not bad. Yes. You know, there's Vera all up in Calculester's grill. She looks like she's all business, which for Vera is another way of saying all murder. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, who wants to do the robot? <laughs> all right, it's you. But Vera using my vast computational resources to secure the national bank passwords for you is a crime, and crimes are not nice. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nonsense. You know what else is a crime? Murder. And if murder isn't nice, well then, lock me up. Why is this Tell so them. good? I know, that's the perfect hmm. voice. Uh, actually, I've just gotten word from my lawyer that I ought to retract that previous statement. Forget I said anything. <laughs> No. That was perfect. <laughs> Erasing all memory of previously of previous fifteen seconds. Resuming conversation from last checkpoint. <laughs> but Vera, using my vast computational resources to secure the national bank passwords for you is a crime, and crimes are not nice. <clears throat> this is coming dangerously close to being a waste of time. <laughs> Look, Cal, I'm what weaker people might call fond of you, but. You'll get me those bank passwords, or I'll reassemble your component parts into a robot who will. Got it? Jeez, I love that. <laughs> oh my uh oh, God. this seems to be getting a little too intense. It's up to you to calm things down, but whose side will you take? Oh, you know who I'm taking. <laughs> Is it wrong that I ship them? <laughs> it's only the first, like, ten minutes of the game. Well, I mean, she did say something sweet to him, and it sounds like she yeah. doesn't say that often. <laughs> huh. But calculus, the banks are full of money, and money is the root of all evil. Therefore, removing money from banks makes them less evil. It's the right thing to do. Or, Vera, your mouth is asking for bank passwords, but your eyes are asking for confetti. No, I'll, I, fuck yeah, I like the top one. Let's convince the robot to do evil. This can't right. go wrong. Skynet, baby! Analyzing syllogism. If evil equals money, therefore money equals evil. Yeah. Argument is deductively valid. Criminal activity legitimized. One, one. Exception detected. If Vera receives all money taken in this way, how will she avoid becoming evil? Don't worry about it. Becoming? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Calculister, darling, money can't turn me evil. Because my various holding companies prevent me from ever technically having any. <laughs> Lord, she doesn't pay taxes. Uh, I understand. Ooh. Evading corruption is very similar to evading taxes. This <laughs> 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 got so real. Exactly. I've always said taxes were evil. <laughs> I mean. Exception successfully handled. Crime now defined as virtuous. Transferring passwords. Oh, you're so busy enjoying the champagne brunch Vera holds to celebrate. You don't even think about the potential long-term consequences of your actions. What else is new? You gain plus two money and plus one fun. You're rich! Oh, oh I'm really melt wealthy. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All the money. Let's go, James. Heck yeah. Uh, let's go to class. I'm a good boy. All right, class time. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. You're so smart! So smart. So smart. Later, you hear some kind of muffled squawking. And you see that Damien's backpack seems to be thrashing violently. Greetings, fellow <laughs> classmate. Oh! <laughs> Yay! James is here! I've been waiting all day to show someone Damien's cock! Wait, what? <laughs> what? Miranda! <laughs> do you ever listen to off. yourself? That no. is perfect. 
Oh, sorry. I was just flabbergasted. No, oh, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Miranda pulls Damien's cock out of his backpack, and the rooster begins preening himself contentedly. Oh, much better. Wait, like legitly? Isn't he the sweetest little thing? It's just a rooster, don't worry. Yeah, we're gonna use him for cockfighting. <laughs> Specifically, we're going to have him cockfight the cockfighters to teach them a lesson. About why you shouldn't make cocks cockfight. <laughs> now we just gotta find a way to make sure that our cock wins. The anti-cockfighting cockfight. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's... <laughs> so you can either lift your rooster's spirits with a romantic proposal and give your cock a cock ring, what? or <laughs> this cock isn't an expert on violence, you or Damon go off the cover as a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I propose that we give the cock a cock ring. That just seems the most romantic. So romantic. <gasps> Not so charming. Oh. Uh. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I shall give our noble fighter my royal blessing. Here, darling precious rooster, take this ring from my royal family. Oh, how Off they go to cockfight the <laughs> cockfighters in an animal cruelty forever. <laughs> <laughs> but the next time you see them, they don't look too pleased. Oh. <laughs> look who it is. James, who knows nothing about cocks. This man just called you a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, apparently in rooster culture, all it takes is the presentation of a ring to be legally wed. Oh. I spent the whole time married to a male chicken. <laughs> and of course, we had to miss the fight because I would never send my husband into violence. That didn't have to do with defending my honor, of course. She's so cute. We had to spend the whole time finding a rooster priest to annul the marriage. <laughs> Didn't we go on this adventure? <laughs> and now I've already been divorced and I'm not even out of high school yet. With that, they're off. But with the disgusting oh. look Miranda shoots you, you will s she wait. But with that, they're off. But the disgusting look Miranda shoots you will stay with you forever. You lose minus two smarts and minus one fun. No! Oh. Oh. Sucks, bruh. No. You're still very time. small. Okay, so I can go places. Yeah, yeah. You can't go to places people have already been though. Oh. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> it takes the whole bathroom. <laughs> no one's allowed to use the bathroom. I take up no, the entire no. library. It's mine. <laughs> um, give me the concert stage on the left. Oh, this one? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that one. Alrighty. Aww. Well, it's cute. Aww. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as thought the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Jesus. What? <laughs> um, you heard the game. Your performance is intense and inspiring. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, <clears throat> it will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. What? <laughs> you gain two plus creativity. <laughs> wow. I love this game. You see Liam talking to Miranda. Miranda looks confused, and Liam looks frustrated. Uh oh. Oh my god, I can't wait for Futen's nerd voice. <laughs> oh, me too, me but too. But I simply do not understand this art you are describing. You say that the art piece is... a bathroom? No, no, no. For the hundreds... <laughs> no, 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 he's too cool for that. <laughs> no, that's perfect. No, it's no, always great. No. For the hundredth time, the art piece is the experience of going into a bathroom thinking it's an art piece. The artiste purposefully gave the room number of the bathroom as the room number of the exhibit. Even though there was a whole room full of his paintings elsewhere in the building, it was revolutionary. <laughs> it certainly seems very voice. complicated. <laughs> is that a Princess Daisy dress? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's 100%. It is. It's Princess <gasps> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy. Personally, I, I prefer the exoplanet sculptures of the At 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 Atlantean Fifth Dynasty. You know, the man in the moon, the face on Mars, all of Pluto. I don't such a grand scale. So uh, That's not art. That's populism and it's worse. <laughs> it's changed completely. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's got a man bun, man. 
Yeah. The glasses yes. are one thing, but the man bar. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hipster. Him, I could do it. Yeah, he's a hipster. He's a hipster. Mm. He's a hipster in an already Tumblr core game. It has to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that bathroom business sounds like art. But how are we supposed to discuss art if we can't even agree on what it is? Oh, if only someone would come along and provide a satisfying definition of art, I would be so pleased. <laughs> oh, it's mine. You got this. No problem. It's so simple. Art is a method for making worthless things into very expensive things, or art mm. isn't art unless it makes you feel bad and feeling inside. Bad <laughs> feelings. Let me feel bad. You want to feel Ayo. bad? Yes. <gasps> exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. This is why, for example, George's Surat's A Sunday Afternoon is not art, whereas getting stuck in an elevator for nine hours is... <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but the face on Mars does not give me a bad feeling. Well, then obviously it's not art, Miranda. Try to keep up. If it is not art, then what is it? A mean thing your ancestors did to the Martians with primitive nuclear weapons. <laughs> oh, yes. I suppose it was that. Oh, you're both so smart. Is he okay? <laughs> you gained some disturbing knowledge about the history of, of the solar system. And also, plus two smarts and plus one creativity. <laughs> awesome. Let's trade places. Ooh, oh, everyone chooses okay. a TV show. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players. Um, All right, hmm. we're gonna say it on Since the count of three. Oh yeah, we can do that. Well, any TV show or? Yeah, just any TV show. So. It'll give uh, us like a reason to choose them, like who goes first next, I think. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm uh, ready. Do you want to count us down? Okay, three, two, one. Super Great. Stranger Things. Things. Slave. Oh wait. <laughs> okay, can we all say it once? <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural. <laughs> Breaking Bad. I said Stranger Things. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. What is that? <laughs> you don't want to know what we want. You don't want to know. It's okay, BB. Uh, it's, it's, it's that. Oh, God. I forgot Flavor Flav existed. <laughs> I would watch it with my mom. I would watch it with her when I was like eight. Claire Stranger Stranger Things. Things. decided based on how mind blowing it would be if next year the showrunners revealed that this TV show was a spin off of the Titanic. It's which like one's Stranger flavor. Things? Yeah, it's, it's flavor flavor. Flavor. definitely Flavor Flav, but which one's yeah. Stranger Things? Stranger Things is the Netflix show. Oh, the kids, yeah, the 80s show, okay. Yeah, the, yeah still the Flavor things. Flav for sure. Flavor Flav number one? Yeah. yeah flavor Flav. Hey, hey. What would be number two? Maybe Stranger Things, because it's so big. Maybe. Well, I feel like... Breaking, well, Breaking Bad, Bad take, <laughs> takes place in the desert, right? You'd be oh, a you're weird right. Titanic in the desert. <laughs> and it's so much more realistic than anything else. Yeah, okay. Breaking Bad. James. I don't know. I feel like if you were to tell me Supernatural was based off of the Titanic, I don't know what I, I would... I kind of believe it. <laughs> with everything they've done at this point, with the time travel, the aliens, the demons, the original monsters, like they could go any direction with Supernatural. I think that's just there at this point. <laughs> That's true. They did have a Scooby-Doo crossover. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh god. Week one. Noon. Oh, oh, you get to pick where you're going to sit. Oh, whose table do you want to sit at? Skyla. Oh, would you like to sit? Um, 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 um. Oh god. <laughs> Try to for real. No. Oh god. Um, um, um. I either want to sit with the, the, the pretty girls on the left. Yeah? Oh, you're going to be fighting a wheel. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Wait, it's my turn to I read, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Polly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. Huh? Oh, so wait. You've actually got serfs? Who eat for you? What? Disgraceful. <laughs> Well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What other kind of crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have serfs that go to the bathroom for me, a serf who experiences difficult emotions for me, and a serf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. 
Well, damn. <laughs> I, I even have I a have surfing first. surfer standing on top of whenever I go surfing. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of surfs. That's a lot of surfs. A lot of surfs. It's Too a fair amount. Surfed. The only limit is my imagination. <laughs> Fortunately, my imagination <laughs> surf imagined a way to escape from surfdom. So now I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> well, I'm sure with the help of Scarlos, we could probably think of a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? Well, I can't wait! Well, you're on the safe spot now. What will it be? Oh? Oh, Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf, it's just like 50 cute dogs. Oh. Or you should get a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. Mm. Um, mm. puppy or hangovers? Hmm. <laughs> uh, party surf? Heck yeah. A surf for me? I couldn't possibly. Why not? I do it all the time. But isn't it wrong to make someone else experience the negative consequences for your actions? Well, like I said, I do it all the time. And father says I can do nothing wrong. Therefore, it's probably fine. Oh no, she's a brat. Okay, hell yeah. Let's hire a dude to deal with all of my withdrawal symptoms. Hire? <laughs> Polly, dearest, we do not pay our serfs. Oh no. We don't? Sweet deal. <laughs> Polly hires the burliest hangover surf she can find, and the two of you go out for the night of your lives I can't read. The surf is dead in the morning from the epic hangover. Oh God. Our memories <laughs> are well worth the second degree manslaughter. What? Oh my God! <laughs> you killed somebody? Welcome to so Monster Crime. <laughs> nah, we're monsters. It's fine. It's what we do. Yeah! <laughs> um, right. Send me to the uh, top right with all the purple people. Hey. Purple people. You find Liam bending over his burrito with intense concentration. He's obviously taking a food pick for a moment, Graham. He channels the silent energy of the moon. <laughs> Zoe is right behind him, peeking over his shoulder and giggling. She channels the giggling energy of the moon. <laughs> oh, this is a new character. Oh. Who oh, wants to do it? <laughs> oh, stop. Hey, go ahead, Scarlet. What kind of character is she? She's oh, a weeb, I think. She, yeah, she's a yeah, fangirl, so... Weeb. Yeah, super weeb. Not Ooh, too difficult. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you want to go! Oh, okay. Scarlet, I think that voice is good. Go for it. Liam, this pick is all wrong. Tell the burrito to smile with its eyes and make its cheese look less melty. And add a filter! Filter more! Filter again! Ugh. Why must I constantly be disturbed while taking my refined food picks? No one understands my superior sense of frame. Um, maybe because it's my phone you're using. A uh, fair point. But my phone is charging! What am I supposed to do with this food in the cafeteria at lunchtime? Eat it? I think not. You purple dork. I'm just saying that if you wanted to reach true levels of Tex Mex beauty, you should add the sticker in to Jimin to your food pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Don't comprehend. Of course. Nothing says good taste like pasting the face of a K pop superstar next to the high school burrito. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here, I. 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 Oh my god. Oh god. I understood like only 10% of the was <laughs> I don't understand. Incredible, I feel so seen, says Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. For a moment, all three of you just admire the G-Mean sticker. <laughs> Liam shakes it off and regains his composure. <sighs> Let's see, agree to disagree. Time is horror. <laughs> or, let's put Jimin in your dumb food pick. Stop it! Uh, I'm gonna tell the principal. Quick, oh, okay. fix this burrito moment. Fix this burrito moment gram K-pop emergency. Oh god, good luck. <laughs> let's see. Moment, it's all about um, Jimin! <laughs> the answers are... What if we use the Jimin sticker where he's contemplating the existential notions of death, meaningless, and the void? 
Or true K-pop fans should know that Jimin's favorite food is enchiladas, and the second and the second favorite food is leaving Liam alone. <laughs> I don't know about that second one, especially about Jimin leaving Liam alone. So I'm gonna go with the first one. Jimin would never leave you alone. He'd carry you whenever you needed it. Exactly. Jimin's you forever. had me at meaningless. I allow this nonsense. Yay! Now snap that thing. I must admit, Jimin adds a quiet, powerful pathos to this bean and cheese burrito. This appropriation of mainstream culture is quite satisfying. <laughs> That's not <laughs> the fair. way you said that. <laughs> Had to be done. Had to be Had done. To... <laughs> Zoe's pick was mega uber super viral, and now the whole world is Jiminning their burritos. <laughs> she is oh, she not as weird, but not as weird as your high school. Jiminy. <laughs> we just made a new word. Jiminy. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, God. I don't want to sit with calculus, dude. I can't lie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> Your approach, Scott, and Calculus are sitting at the table conveniently located near a power outlet. Calculus is charging. Scott is confused. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, oh. what do you mean you don't eat, bro? If you don't eat, how are you ever going to get swole? Premise is invalid. I am a robot. Robots do not get swole. Swelling in robots is always an extremely bad sign. Can we talk about his lovely Hawaiian shirt? I know, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> No eating? No getting swole? How do you live, bro? Technically, I do not live. It is one of my <gasps> greatest sources of sadness. No! Aw, oh, uh, don't be sad, buddy. I know what'll cheer you up. Some pizza! Pizza always cheers me up! He just said he can't eat. I know. <laughs> valid suggestion. Pizza is a food which I do not eat. I am not des designed to consume organic material. Only electricity. Oh, but, 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 he just doesn't understand. Not confused. <laughs> yeah. You're actually pretty worried that Scott's head is <laughs> going to explode, and then you're going to have to clean it up. Better find a way to satisfy his curiosity. Oh my god, his face is amazing. <laughs> just, nothing, there's nothing behind those eyes. <laughs> yeah, he's just still saying off in the corner, but, but pizza. <laughs> Pizza, good, good food. Pizza, pizza. Oh. <laughs> Scott, electricity is the coolest and most energetic thing to eat. Have you ever tried eating a light? Have you ever tried eating a lightning? What? <laughs> Calculus. A lightning is the best <laughs> part of that. I, I, thought, I thought I was going to say a light bulb. That's why like, I read it wrong because of the A at the front. <laughs> <laughs> the entire lightning. Just a lightning. Wow. <laughs> Singular lightning. <laughs> Calculus, dear, when you say I'm not designed to consume organic material, all I hear is that you're not trying hard enough. I want to know the lightning. <laughs> lightning? A loud, bright thing that comes out of the sky? I hate lightning! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's adorable. <laughs> I know, he's so cute. Good work, Fucha. <laughs> yeah, this kid is on this guy. <laughs> you, Negative. So the loud thing is called thunder. <laughs> oh! What's lightning then? The bright thing that comes out of the sky, but without the noise. Great. Oh, wow. Noise free lightning? It's like a fat free protein shake. It sounds so energetic. I'll go eat some right now. No! So happy. Please do not. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! But it's too late. Scott is already running around outside with his mouth open, staring at the sky. Good thing it's not raining or anything. Now you get to enjoy some alone time with Calculester. Hey. Bonk. Everybody's satisfied. Put me next to Scala. Let's see what happens. Wait. Who's the cat girl? Where did she I come don't, from? I don't... I don't know. There's like other characters too. Put me with the cat girl. We haven't even... Like she wasn't even an option at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Secret? Eh? <laughs> Um, oh, welcome to my little gotta... shop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Buy some shit, oh, yeah. I have shit that will boost your stats, yeah. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures, yeah. Even some shit that might make you need it at some specific moments, yeah. So take a look, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, a blanket with two holes. <laughs> For what? Stupid. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, shut up. 
A PR agent? High school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. <gasps> that might be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. Not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Her <laughs> face. A motivational poster. Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now. Oh, God, that's so real. I know, I'm so happy. Mr. Bob. Remember when these used to be cool? Now they aren't. But they're so ridiculous that they're still fun in their own twisted way. Oh, but what happened to Kanye since then? Reminds me of 2008 303. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> A fake badass tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too and go to some kind of super prison. Street cred plus 9,000. Why? The hottest thing is being yourself, <laughs> honey. But a Latin accent is a second, a close second, what to be honest. I never knew oh you could buy that. Oh, I know, just an accent in. <laughs> A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. <laughs> Jesus. Are you sure about this? You could always use online encyclopedia, Wikipedia, to get the general idea and still be able to act as if you read it. Ouch. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs giving. The gift that keeps on giving. Why is it zero bucks? It's free. I'm scared. Um, it's I'm free. also scared. Ooh, present. I kind of want the PR. Mm, it's an event, though. T yeah, take the gift that keeps on giving. No this is like gacha right now. Thank you. Ooh. It's oh a my god. god! What did ah. I just do? Your boldness is going crazy! I've got zero creativity now. My boldness was three and now it's 18. At what cost? Holy shit! Everything. Legends say that long ago, Santa used to give naughty boys lead instead of coal. They gave me a fucking block. Let's go! Fucking the gosh. Christmas gun. <laughs> Did you win the gotcha? I feel like you got, I, the, you got the five star gun. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I kept my money and charm, which I want. I only lost creativity. I don't need that. I'm good. Creativity. <laughs> Damn, creativity. Damn, your this is yeah. crazy. I could just get a surf for creativity and imagination. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody chooses a song. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Despacito. Beat it. When you walk by every night, talk us on your walking phone. <laughs> Damn. In a minute, right, okay. I'm gonna need a sentimental man and woman to put me up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Based on how unexpectedly adequate the sun would be if it were used for a hemorrhoid. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just gonna say that despacito means gently or slowly. <laughs> Carlos? Hello? Is anybody else like what would be first I, on? <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel um, like despacito works too. Yeah. I could see that on a hemorrhoid sad to be honest. Oh god. A terrible one, but yeah. Okay. I don't know who would be second, third, or fourth. <laughs> Most of them I have no opinion on. I feel like if we beat it on a hemorrhoid ad, hey. it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. They have to beat the hemorrhoids. They have to beat the hemorrhoids. Yeah, yeah they have like the instrumental version, and then they'd have a little animation of the little like mascot character beating the hemorrhoids. It'd be like, just beat it. Dun, just dun, beat it. it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what should we do here? I don't know if I want a hemorrhoid walking by every night talking sweet or looking <laughs> that's fine. True. I don't know if I that, want that's that. True. That's true. It's okay. over. Okay. Okay. It's over. Okay. It's over. Okay. Ryan, can we please? <laughs> um, sure. Um, sure. Here are your... I don't know what to do with <laughs> your item. No. Look at that brave bone. Yeah, I've got so much boldness. So I think I need some more charm. Send me to wherever charm is. I think it's this one, right? Basketball. Yeah, that looks like charm. It's a kissy face. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Oh, I'm beasting it. <gasps> Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. <gasps> I'm in high cue. Oh my god, the shorts are <laughs> so short. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you can see my underpants. Oh no. Yeah. Leading to a spectacular comeback. Let's go. You're clearly a natural born leader. You're getting plus two charm. Hell yeah. Hey. Funny enough, you notice Damien and Vera hanging around some sort of business meeting. 
At least they're both sitting holding Manila folders. Are you closer to see what's up? I cannot escape Vera. This is awesome. Oh, Look at no. Mo Short. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck shit, She's right? In it. <laughs> oh, damn, boy. Now, Damien, it seems we both agree that Gwilliam the Incubus is a piece of sentient garbage who deserves harm. Mm -hmm. True. True. I love that you're talking to yourself right now. I believe that together we could make Gwilliam very unhappy. I've prepared an action plan for a potential merger. Have a look. Merger? Merger. It's like almost murder, but not quite. Vera opens her folder to reveal intricate charts with titles like Diversion Coefficient and Maximizing Humiliation Dividends. <laughs> I brought a folder too. This voice is so perfect. <laughs> David opens his folder. There's a piece of paper that says punching on it. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your simplistic approach, but I think we need a plan that utilizes both our strengths. Oh yeah, punch them and rob them. <laughs> Damien nods and turns over his piece of paper. On the other side it says punch them <laughs> <laughs> He's so chat. Yeah. He's literally fucking Goku from so the bridge series. <laughs> These two are never gonna come to an agreement unless you step in and mediate. So you tell them your idea. Use this convenient list I bought that shows all his greatest fears. I thought, oh my god, in order of severity. Oh, very convenient. While he's sleeping, replace all his organs with live possums. That's <laughs> murder. Are both really severe. <laughs> the second one is awesome. The second one is awesome, but the top one is more fucked up. I like that one. We'll slowly torture him. This is my long con plan. That's what I like. Hmm. Most of these fears seem pretty standard. Oh, I've disappointed. Clowns, bees, <laughs> entropy. Entropy. Corn? <laughs> that has been interesting. Quite Very interesting indeed. I I think we'll be able to accomplish some marvelous things with this list. Not the corn. <laughs> Does it say punching on there anywhere? Everyone's scared of punching. Yes, but it's at the bottom of the list, below libraries and fish. 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 Well, okay. As long as it's on the list, I'm in. <laughs> what if you punch him with corn? That'd be so awful. <laughs> I know, right? The way Vera's eyes look right now, she's right at the top of your list of your fears. Hot. Yes! The game gets me! Well, damn. Yep. Thanks, game Lisa. plus two spots and plus one charm. Speaking <laughs> legitimately in the world God only knows mode right now. <laughs> so, I'm, yep, I'm going in. I I'm going it. to Solution. the bathrooms. This one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll drop off the kids. That day oh, that's you skip a good class. Oh, yeah. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! The, the, the graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. Oh. What a wall. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> the deep voice resounds from within, the, from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. <laughs> oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. That pick is very yeah. hot. Yeah, that was a good shot. You're enjoying the sound of no ear splitting shrieks, shrieks filling the air, when suddenly an ear splitting shriek fills the air. Disgusting! <laughs> oh God. Zoe, what is this abominable nonsense? How dare you so much as think such filth, much less write it, much less put it on the internet? Miranda, I honestly have no idea why you're so upset about. I'm simply expressing myself through the noble art of fanfiction. Okay, yeah, that voice was perfect. Ooh, that is perfect. <laughs> but by Ooh. writing a story about me and a noble and beautiful Mer princess in a forbidden romance with Nash and Mahone, with the son of the Prime Minister of the Art Kingdom? Oh, enemies to lovers. The Prime <gasps> Minister Zoe! I would never date anyone from some socialist nightmare escape with the Prime Minister! <laughs> but 
this has nothing to do with you. It's not set at spooky high, it's set at creepy high. <laughs> and the mer princess is named Marmanda Mangiabunt. I can't read. <laughs> that no, sounds nothing not. like Miranda Vanderbilt. They, they barely even end with the same four letters. <laughs> Don't you know that the last four letters are the most magical and important of all letters in Mermoarchy culture? <laughs> Why, I should have this dribble ripped into shreds with the libel knife the, by the culture, you know, the cutlery used by the most scanning of reviewers. <laughs> I can't read! You're doing great, don't worry wrong. about it. See, Miranda, you're nothing like Marmanda. She's totally, you've gone with the slander spoon. I can't read. <laughs> I mean, no You're both read. doing great. I Chill. It's weird work. Stand by <laughs> while my friends, classmates, and inferior, mm -hmm, an inferior publishes such air people sympathize or nonsense. What? Air people sympathize. Basically, people who don't breathe water. She sees them as lowly. That's great. <laughs> oh, thanks for the sparkness. I had no idea. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. They're so weird. Air people sympath. Air breathers sympathize. <laughs> She's breathing air oh. right now. Oh dear. This could get uglier than it already is. Better step in and help the lady out. Which lady, though, is up to you. <gasps> Leave Zoe alone, Miranda. Don't you see she's done a huge favor by exposing the treachery of Marmanda Vanderbund? <laughs> you need to go destroy Marmanda, not Zoe. Or, Miranda's right, Zoe. A better writer wouldn't even need to put something as disgusting as the air people into oh. fan fiction. It's just a cheap trick for shock <gasps> value like South Sensor Emperor. We're oh, damn! <laughs> yes. <laughs> the call out! Oh my god! I, I, oh I god. Oh actually my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This game is so awesome. I had to say yeah, and out loud for the stream. I literally just had to Google what it meant. Oh what? my god. Oh, I didn't know what it did. I just Googled it. Oh, I, I didn't. Now I do. Thank I'm you, Urban sorry. Dictionary. <laughs> I can't believe that this game is what taught you what <laughs> Now I am smarter. I want to go for the. It informs you all about. You're gonna go life. for the Empreg? No, 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 <laughs> not not the Empreg, the top one. Empreg <laughs> uh, scares me. And I'd be more worried about the other part, but okay. <laughs> this is right, Miranda. Haven't you ever heard the phrase "Don't shoot the messenger"? Oh, certainly yes. Loads of times. <laughs> it's what all of Daddy's messengers say right before he shoots them. I love her. <laughs> uh, but of course, Zoe is merely a classmate and a subject acting in this case as a messenger, so killing her would be inappropriate. Mm. And not covered by Daddy's insurance. <laughs> so tell me more about this devious Miranda person and her relationship with Nasha Mahone. Okay. Well, as you can imagine, their love is inherently tragic and beautiful, since they come from the mer uh, uh, air kingdoms, respectfully. <laughs> I'd describe it as a typical star-crossed lover story, with a large portion of hurt, comfort, tropes, since it is set during the mer air war. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, she even laughs like fish! Yes, yes. And where might I find this Mermanda? So that I may execute... I mean, bring her to justice? Mm -hmm. Oh, in the <laughs> usual places. FF.net, AO4... F I mean, <laughs> she's definitely real and probably hiding from you somewhere far, far away. Like a desert. Uh, anyway, anywhere, anywhere you won't interrupt my thick writing. Spoiler alert! You rock! <sighs> Thanks for that, James. Marmanda Vanderbund may be an extremely thinly vile stand-in for Miranda, but she's my extremely thinly vile stand-in for Miranda. Aww. Aww. I'm excited to continue her romantic adventures, and I hope you'll join me. Woo! I join her. Zoe means reader fic, which you realize when she sends you a link and remember to review. But <laughs> hey, she's sharing something she loves with you, plus two creativity. Plus one charm and plus ten trauma. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, it's yeah. not. Hello, we're <laughs> Um, I gotta be crazy. You up but to I want, wee wee. I kind of want money, but I want to be more, <laughs> more charming. 
Oh, can you go to the same place I did? This is... Oh, no way, Charm. This one is... No, I can't. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. You're right. I gotta think. I thought the left one was Charm. What is... That must be creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's what I want. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, badass. Oh, so, so cute. cute. Oh. Black and gold. Let's go. That's Let's the Luigi rehearsing. stash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're right. Oh. <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You work so hard. You, you act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Damn. Roses aren't as valid currency or stat in this game. The game Anything. really said no money for you, Will. I want I want him poor. <laughs> Check a converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm, it seems seven roses equal two creativity points. Sweet. You gain two plus two creativity. Let's go. <gasps> Why? Scott <laughs> corners you to list all his favorite bones to chew when suddenly he stops and sniffs the air. This game knows you want the himbo. Oh, he's a tree. Of course he's he a tree. Oh, so cute. Oh, boy. Is that? It's Calculester. And he's got a little plan. Let's go say hi. <laughs> hi, Calculester. Who's your little plant friend? Hello, fellow. Hello, Scott. Yes, this is my little plant friend, Buckaroo Bonsai. I treasure it because it is my sole window into what it means to be alive. Oh, can I pee on it? Oh my, I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh <my laughs> cool. Can I pee on it? You know, the people know I've been here. You just, <laughs> just jokes and jokes. I'm just in the mind of a dog. I'm ready. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not pee on Buckaroo Bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. You already peed on it because it's yours. If that will stop you from dispensing urine, then yes. <laughs> That's cool, bro. I can still help you grow a little Bucky big and strong. I'll get you some plant energy drink and I'll pee on something else. <laughs> or perhaps some nice nutritious water. And a plant sized barbell. Plus, it needs to join the lacrosse team so we can make plant friends. <laughs> oh. Color. Oh, no. Friend is giving terrible advice, but do not want to hurt friend's feelings. Input required. Great. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like it's up to you to solve this problem. Do you care more about making Scott happy or helping Calculester take care of his plant? Oh no, that's hard. <laughs> I like where your head's at, Scott, but you know what this plant really needs? Racing stripes. <laughs> Gotta grow fast. Gotta grow, Gotta grow fast. fast. Try to grow faster, 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 Sonic X. <laughs> Calculester is right. Water is like an energy drink for plants. No, he's got to grow fast. Mm. Heck yeah. Of course, stupid Scott. Plants are like a cool buff werewolves. They don't need energy drinks and bench presses. Oh, good. You have finally seen reason. Plants are like cars. <laughs> oh, no, I have spoken too soon. <laughs> Calculester, can I please paint racing stripes on Bokaroo Bonsai? Please! Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you may paint racing stripes on the pot. Hooray! You won't regret this! As a soulless automaton, I am incapable of regret. <laughs> so good. <laughs> but soon, I love how chat just mimics the face that Calculester is currently making every time he's on the screen. The whole chat is just <laughs> Calculester's face. <laughs> chat is. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so good. <laughs> Scott, I have spent several hours considering the sweet racing stripes you painted. And? And I believe we also need oh. to add wheels and rims. Very sick rims. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's so cute! Hey, buddy. Smiling. Calculus has spent the rest of the day turning Bucky's pot into a fully functioning hot rod. Scott's never been happier. He gained plus two creativity and plus one fun! Oh, no. I, I, I am harder shipping them now. Like, I know! Sure I don't want to date them. I want together. them to date them, each other. 
Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Apparently, it's I need fun. Are you doing scalosita? You want to be fun? Like Danny too. <laughs> Where do I go for fun? Back here. Donde? Let's go. Let's see. Oh, yo! That day during Ooh. recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Holy shit. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Heck yeah. You gain plus two fun. Oh. Oh, haha. <gasps> Later in the halls, you run into Polly and Liam, who seem to be talking about some kind of flyer. The flyer is for upcoming music festival, Howlapalooza. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> So, so, we agree sorry. on everything for Friday, right? Yeah, pretty much. And Saturday, we finally go to Messer Chess and imagine a fucking dragon. So Sure. It was pretty great. And then at 3 a.m., I want to check out that guy in the parking lot who just makes a cacophony for two hours. Oh, yeah, he's into indie music too, great. I bet he has uh, vinyl. Um, ghosts are super into... Cacophonies. Cacophonies. Nice. But at 3 a.m., I wanted to go to MC Griffin. Cool. I mean, it's a freaking Griffin that raps. It's the hottest shit right now, Liam. Uh, some badass. <laughs> you know, the hottest shit right now isn't the criteria I use to pick the artist I want to see, right? Yes. A <laughs> Griffin that raps, Liam. I like this, so this pairing, too. This is great. <laughs> Um, there should be a better way to decide this other than repeating our choices in a loud, annoying tone. But I love that loud, annoying tone thing. Uh, I know. Still. Go ahead, don't be shy. You might have the ultimate trick for how to choose the best schedule for this music festival. So just everybody else changes their clothes. This guy doesn't change his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> He's always himself, no matter what. He has five of this outfit, and he just changes them out. <laughs> ah, get into a much ayahuasca as possible until some kind of spirit animal appears and shares its wisdom with you. Or Ooh. don't fight over this. The one who wins will get to see their artist live for an hour or two, but the only one who loses will get a bitch about it until the end of time. Uh... Oh. Second one? Ooh, a solution that involves hating stuff in a very public way? Count me in. Let me load up my Yelp reviews. I mean, you're actually right. I'm already getting to see stuff I enjoy. So getting one hate-watching session would be healthy for my cred. Hate-watching? Usually, I can totally shit on stuff without really knowing a lot about it. I don't even watch it. I just shit on it by myself. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, oh man. But actually attending the concert? That's going the extra mile. Um, actually? Huh. Um, actually? <laughs> <laughs> huh. So can we go see MC Griffin? You bet, Paulina. Yeah. I'm gonna practice my eye rolling and my sighing. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you're a dork to the point you're actually lovable. Aww. Oh, they are cute yeah. together. <laughs> they are. You solve the situation with your knowledge of hipster culture. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sorry, PC sound. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we get a random generator. <laughs> El Wee Wee! El Wee Wee! What happened to El Wee Wee? All right. What's a rad monster to do on the weekends? Only hang out with the absolute raddest gals. Oh, I can smell it. Yo! Absolute raddest place. The glorious mansion belonging to your dear spooky high friend Juan the small magical Latino cat. <laughs> I love how we literally heard Alira's voice go to pretty Paulette. <laughs> she is so hot. But alas, <laughs> even the best of parties wind down Lame. eventually. Man, this party was the best of parties, but it seems like it's winding down. Yeah, I can feel the frantic party chaos joy energy fading off the pretty much everyone at this point. 
I think I'll head out and head out and head out and head out if we're counting the snakes. I can't imagine anything else exciting is ever gonna happen here. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. I can't see Damien. That's you. Yo-chan? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <dear laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> it's the I see this pitiful party is fading into mundane nothingness, as you all will too. Hey. <laughs> Unless you join me on the dark side to bring chaos and destruction down upon civilization. Fuck my what? life right now, dude. In which case, the stories of our dark, dark deeds and dark, dark souls will live on forever. Yes. It's a good thing he's not a choice. Me and Scala would be fighting over this man. <laughs> you do him so well, dude. It's yeah. I know, it's so our good! face is incredible. Oh, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm already dead, but yeah, that sounds kind of dope. This party's a bust now, so... I could dig it. I'm <laughs> sure there's a profit to be made in chaos, Zoe. I call it fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Seems like your friends are down for just about anything when they're bored, including bringing destruction down upon the world. Time to revive this party and keep your friends from being swayed by sexy, sexy Dimitri. <laughs> by using an ultimate DJ strategy that will bring everyone's attention away from Dimitri's abs and back to the side of right. What? Back First, the, the level on the of right. masterful complex DJing you intend to do can't be done by the hands of one mere monster. You need your most trusted friend, ultimate DJ partner, someone touched with consent by the god of party. Yo. <gasps> Do you want this James is so funny. They call like James DJ DJ because he is the DJest of the DJs. <laughs> they call Funky DJ 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 because he claims to be DJer than James. <laughs> if this affirmation is true, that's something we will only know by choosing this option. Power move. I'm only one right on you, here. Maybe. <laughs> I have to pick this because I have to know if Funky is DJer than James. Oh, I bet I'm going to oh. fail this for you. <laughs> you ring up Funky, who frankly was only not at a the small magical Latino cast rad party in the first place because he was already doing rad DJ work over at one of the tall mundane Jewish goblins place. Oh Funky is a badass friend and is over at the smaller magical one's place in no time. All of his sick DJ tools Classic. in tow. Oh man, Funky, did you just bring the sword of DJing destiny? <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was a sungway down at the bottom of the Lake Tremble base. Not bad. Anyone in possession of such a mystical artifact is okay in my book. <gasps> oh my god. And you're okay by association for choosing Bucky! You're welcome, a weird Thank hey, you. <laughs> Let's the two of you get down to business. No, stop that. Don't indulge in secret DJ magics. Join the dark side. I will. Queen have his cookies. But his <gasps> sexy, sexy pleas fall on uncaring ears because you and Funky have already begun unpacking your DJ shurikens, <laughs> which you hurl <laughs> through the air with precision and somehow music also. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you draw five pentagrams made out of quarters and half notes on the floor with the feather of a songbird and your own blood. <laughs> and uh, Wait, what? I said it said the feather of a songbird. <laughs> oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> Good. I thought you meant the shurikens. I was no. like, <laughs> I mean, oh, true. You stand behind the podium, fussed with the divine energy of the rituals you've just performed, pulsing with potential. Oh, play on Bohemian Rhapsody oh. by Queen. Oh my god. <laughs> the yes. best song, let's go! OMG, yes! It's gonna move you follow this with Mr. Frank! Oh shit, oh, that's my jam. Oh, this it's is over. literally my last karaoke oh, stream. Oh god. Why <laughs> <laughs> did I have been just fierce? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm doing I'm just fierce. <laughs> Finish off with a sensible opus by <laughs> Eric Pius and Ace of Base. It's a beautiful life. And on nights like these, it really is. That tip jar is overflowing, and I assume I get a cut for being generally fierce. No, my money. 
Stop this. Stop all of this. All oh, this music, it gives me such feelings. Is he gonna turn into a soft boy? <laughs> you finally wake, wake me, up? me up inside oh, my head and as Dimitri <laughs> gently and dramatically weeps. <laughs> it makes me remember a time where I too was woken up inside. <laughs> Can't wake now, up! Now play airplane, no. it'll break him, it'll finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri disappears in a puff of smoke. You and Funky keep this sick, sick party going all night long. Earning you both two plus boldness and one plus creativity. Thank you. That was so funny. That was great. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was a funny uh, little scene. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's so good. You did that voice so good. Oh, you thank really you, thank do. You. He really does. Everybody uh, was... chooses a video. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, I was I was about to say I was um like flipping coin in my head whether to give him like a deep voice or to give him like a really funny cap <laughs> <laughs> like a hilarious one yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone chooses a video game say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking Zelda Breath of the Wild Zelda play <laughs> Mario Party two noise Big messenger. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, you're in the right place. <laughs> yeah. Decided based on how cool yet artistically intense it would be to turn the video game into a Broadway <laughs> okay, musical. Mystic Messenger, Mystic Messenger is a Broadway musical. Come that would on. actually work though. Yeah, I'd I think that has to be it. number one. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Party two. I love that. Cool yet artistically intense. I think that has to be you for number two, Alira. <laughs> Xenoblade is awesome as a musical. I would yeah. watch that shit a million bajillion times. That's the thing. That one actually has an intense story. And then I think it has to be Mario because my god. <laughs> Just the drama of people Mario murdering each did. other in Mario. Drama. <laughs> It'd be great. At the end, everyone starts killing each other. The bassist what? gets the violin and kills the pianist. It just ends with Toad with the Toad voice trying to sing like, Hello, my friends are down here. <laughs> and he like oh falls on his blade. <laughs> on his blade? <laughs> on his blade, a weird one. Every musical ends with everyone dead. <laughs> I dig it, I dig it. I just want an MC and J he romantic number. That's all I want. Hey, let's go. <laughs> mm, I need money. Bonus and fun. Uh, Meeny, meeny, to the money! To, to the, the money! Oh! Run, run, run. Poker. Oh. Up, 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 poker thing. That day you spend some time in the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> you gain plus two money. Heck yeah. Yeah! But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterward to lecture you on moment gram filters. Liam is just following you around. Bro. <laughs> what no one seems to understand about filters is that they're not always about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. Oh, look at his smile. <laughs> That's why I use my own proprietary filter for almost all my photos. The Infinity Torpe. I don't know how to say that. Those are probably why I have only six moment gram followers, but we must all make sacrifices for our art. <laughs> in any case, <laughs> I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot I simply must document. It's a nerd. You're free of him. I know, right? God. As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out of the air conditioning duct. What? What are you doing there? <laughs> she was hiding. <laughs> Goodness, the situation is even more dire than I thought. If Operation Make Liam popular again is to succeed, we must get started immediately. What's that? Why, yes, of course you're a part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular Again? Well, he's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. <laughs> I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. Phase one is getting Liam more moment gram followers. I took the liberty of having my royal spies discover the password to his account, so we can give it a total makeover. But what to do? 
Oh, she's trying. <laughs> oh, no. Use his account to post a bunch of porn <laughs> and bomb recipes. Oh. Pay a million homeless people to follow him. And like, oh, oh, God. What, you boy? How are they going to follow him? <laughs> what is even the correct? I, I don't know. Um... Hmm. It's funny how they had to uh, really accentuate that they have to be homeless. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. Do they? I don't want to make people do that. Um, eeny meeny. I'm just gonna eeny meeny miny moe catch a tiger. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Bombs and corn. <laughs> Bombs and corn. Bad. Oh no. What is porn? Oh god. I Never mind. If you suggested it, it must be something very classy and suitable. Pouring your heart out. What no! are you gonna make us see, Scala? No! <laughs> With Miranda's blessing, you soon transform Liam's speed into a cavalcade of nice boobs and deadly explosions. Okay, that doesn't sound that bad. Tits and explosions, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's every seems... Oh, no! Theme. Exactly. <laughs> All seems to be going well. People are liking his picks and droves when you see Liam being led through the... <gasps> no! <laughs> Halls and oh. handcuffs. Oh, <laughs> but... I'm just taking a picture of a dead <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about! Encouraging acts of violence? Oh, I can show pictures of my food under opaque brown filters! <laughs> it's just figurative violence against the status quo! No actual violence! I'm so sorry! Which I'm going hard. <laughs> Someone in my profile has <laughs> come for the bootleg pornography, stay for the domestic terrorism! It's clearly ironic! Oh, if I was going to be wrongly incarcerated by the state, I would have at least liked some warning so I could fix my makeup! Oh my god. I am so sorry. <laughs> you <laughs> should be. <laughs> this is the worst day of my practically infinite life, man. I'm so sorry. It's okay, maybe it'll make him cooler. It might work out. Oh, <laughs> oh the cops eventually really. Oh, thank god they let him. I was like, oh no, did I just get food? <laughs> oh no. Food tense characters gone for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. We're done with the nerd voice. The evil has been destroyed. Oh, no. <laughs> the evil has been defeated. Oh, no. The cops eventually released Liam in exchange for teen fashion advice, but you spend the rest of the week covering your digital tracks. You lose minus two money and minus oh. one creativity. No! Oh, no! Damn, damn it! Right. Dang it! Dang it. All right. Where do I want to go? Ooh. This one is mm. so bold. Yeah, 20 bold. Jesus. How did I get up to 20? What the? Because of the, the, gun. Because of the, the DJ oh, party right. we did. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's the gun. The gun. Yeah, the gun, the gun gave yeah, you 18, like, and then the, the party gave you two. God damn. Oh, Let's go. I'm going to go to class. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I think you learn a ton of spells that are just as cool as they seemingly useless. Oh, wow. Another new sticker stickiness. Aww. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. <laughs> spell to gain plus two smarts. You actually used that spell last time. Yay! Yeah, you're smarter. I like the faces. When the class works. Uh -oh. oh, no, I like the little tiny face he has on him. Yeah, the little ghosties. <laughs> You see Scott and the wolf pack talking. Oh. Scott, 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 we have the greatest power to drink to date. Let's check this out, bro. Oh, I love power drinks. But wait, this new cutting edge sports supplement is like no other before. What do you think? Is this guy actually looks like Aaron Hansen? <laughs> what the <that's> hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can consume it using only your nose. Oh, are they getting him? Oh, no. It's called uh, cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. <laughs> no, no. Whoa, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. Which definitely means it's cutting edge, just like you said. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein powder, and 100% raw power. <laughs> oh, my oh, no! God damn it, with these crazy pranks, before you can do anything, Scott has snorted all the coke. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And oh, no. 
he's gone full wolf mode. He's basically unleashed and is destroying everything he sees. You need to do something to calm him down, but what? <laughs> <laughs> Using your vast knowledge of aromatherapy, give him some lavender scented. What? <laughs> Neutralize it! Fidget spinner. Yay! He starts spinning a very flashy fidget spinner in front of Wolf Scott. He stops wrecking havoc and stares at the spinning fidget spinner. It's so spinny. After a while, he reverts to his mm. normal self because everyone knows. <laughs> no, 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 it does not. Bro, this thingy is the best thingy ever. It's like, like a very safe and friendly shuriken. That's true. Can I keep it? Uh, yeah, it really is, yeah. actually. <laughs> How can you say no to that pair of puppy dog eyes? Aww. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. You see Scott fleeing with your fidget spinner still managing to wreak some havoc despite calling it very safe and friendly. Clumsy, handsome Scott. Gain plus two charm Aww. and plus one smart. Yay! Clumsy handsome Scott had the same feeling, the same energy as like stupid sexy Flanders. You. <laughs> Let's go outdoors. To fun? Uh, yeah. Hey, yo. Oh. Damn. Oh, man. Yeah. That day during recess, you saw a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical Latino cat. You start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one? The one involving the beehive, the blob doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Oh, see, James, it's muy bien. Tell me more. <laughs> Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. Aww. You stole that laughter. That's kind of cool, but also scary. <laughs> Yo, look at the Ooh. fit. Oh my god, Damien, damn! Oh, damn, boy! Yeah! Uh, is, is that the thing for Thursday? I thought it was. Wait, what? Yeah, the fire. Kanji? The kanji for fire. The fire. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's the kanji for Tuesday. <laughs> oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Oops. <laughs> You're wandering around with Zoe, Scott, and Damien looking for pocket humans in Pokemon Pokemon Go <laughs> when you notice some weird looking shrooms. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, no. crazy. Whoa, these mushrooms have faces. They do. I think they're kind of cute. We think you're kind of cute, chirped the mushrooms in unison. We love your skin, but you've got a healthy working endocrine system. That's a, that's a red flag. Flags? <laughs> Can I pee on them? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, they won it. <laughs> See the mushroom pee on us. Your moisture and nutrients make us stronger. Uh, I hold don't on, hold on, like hold on. this. Don't click forward. Alira, it says they all say this. I think we all have to say this at once. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Pee, pee on, on us. On us. Your, Your moisture and nutrients, nutrients make, make us stronger. Stronger. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. I am officially creeped out by these talking mushrooms. Uh, oh, man. Really? Why? Pretty much all the plants in the dimension of Terra behave like this. <laughs> I'm like... Ah, yeah, okay. I got it. They're creepy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy, say the mushrooms. We're just full of genuine affection. Inhale some of our spores and you'll see. Oh. So... <laughs> Am I peeing on them or not? Oh, who? Who the heck is this? I don't know. Abominable snowman, but with a mushroom on it? Yeah, the mushroom speaking, not the actual monster creature. Oh, God. Oh, Joy. It looks like you Oh, my God. Finally decided to give up the misery and single them and partner up with true soulmates. Wait, Dopio, do you have reverb? Do you have like a coexilar? Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm not using it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you want me to use it? Just next time for the mushroom, I think that would work real good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. 
Yes, sing the mushrooms. We would love to meet with your soul. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really about giving up my individuality in order to allow an intelligent fungus to symphon off my nutrients. You never experience anxiety again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, this is going beyond it. I got real creepy. Okay, I'm interested. <laughs> I'll never settle down. I don't build relationships. I burn them. <laughs> a parasite this time can directly simulate the pleasure neurons of your brain. Ten out of ten. Oh my god. I mean, okay. I'm listening. His little blush. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. He's like, you know what? His face! <laughs> He's considering it. <laughs> If you enter a committed relationship with one of these mushrooms, you can pee on as many of them as you want. <laughs> oh, ew. Hey. Hooray! I'm in! <laughs> <laughs> no, not hooray. You need to talk... You need to talk your friends out of accepting these parasites into your into their brains. And fast! We say either you can date those mushrooms or you can date whatever is in the mystery box I brought with me. It's literally very shiny. Wait, oh, <laughs> wait. don't watch blindly into a relationship. Let me do a tower reading on your love life first. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm all about the mystery box. I want to see what's in the gotcha box. Heck yeah. Oh, no! Oh. oh. All right, guys. This is a serious dilemma. We need to carefully weigh out our options before deciding on a... Ah. Mystery box! Mystery box! I choose the mystery box! I agree with Scott. I mean, as long as there's a chance, no matter how small, that, that the mystery box contains a bundle of TNT. I have to take those odds. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you're gonna oh, throw God. away a life of complete subservient bliss for a box that could be full of literally anything. Hey, YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> nice. God. You hand the box over to Zoe and she opens it up to reveal... Huh. <laughs> what? More oh, no. sentient mushrooms. Oh no. It's a sign. <laughs> True love always prevails. Nice. Well, can't argue with that. Climb into my brain, hot stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Damn. This is the last time you whip out a mystery box without checking what's inside first. Scott, Zoe, and Damien all start dating their new mushroom <laughs> partners. Oh, it's over. It only lasts for a few hours before Zoe breaks up with hers for saying <gasps> Asuka's best waifu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's some that shit off taste. wrong. <laughs> that is completely wrong. <laughs> Damien ditches his because it's scared of fire, and Scott trips and falls into a vat of fungicide. Oh, the himbo. Let's go. They're still single and everything, but they've also learned how bad you are at mystery boxes. It was minus two charm and minus one fun. Oh, sure. You are so bold. <laughs> um, sure. 20 bonus? Hell yeah. Make me more charming. Let's play basketball or dodgeball again. Jock. Oh, oh same picture. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiations for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist! You gain plus 10 righteousness, but this game is wrong in so many ways that you'd be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus 2 charm! But at nice. least I've got justice on my side! <laughs> Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned and only Vera has the antidote. This game is really putting us with one person at a time. <laughs> she does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. <gasps> She's into me? Yeah. There you think, are. Yeah, Thank you so much for coming. Crazy. I'm embarking <laughs> on a new criminal enterprise and I need a concierge. The idea is simple yet brilliant. Think uber but for killing people <laughs> well nation app let's go <laughs> murder <laughs> i call it murder 
murder. I call it fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out that the market is flooded with assassination apps, assassination apps, and blood. Ooh. I need a way to get ahead of the pack, and since you're such a good advisor... Mm. Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free-range organic murders. <laughs> organic murders. <laughs> Viral marketing, literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. Do that one, let's go! The second one? Oh. Yeah, I've got the smarts. You can do that? Great! You can use my private chemical weapons laboratory. Oh, of course you have one. Ooh. And so... This is working better than I ever could imagine. Demand for murder has gone through the roof since you released that virus. Anything for you, Queen. <laughs> sure. The side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male lactation, <laughs> time dilation, rigor mortis, rectal teeth, R renegade spleen, microaggressions, sudden <laughs> tattoos, hair trauma, liquefaction, and coughing. Liquefaction? But it's well worth for the profits I'm raking in. Plus, I'm making a little killing selling people the antidote for all those side effects. Oh, I love her. It's not actually an antidote, though. <laughs> oh my god! It's actually just heroin. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so evil. That's so genius and wrong. Did you know they used to give heroin to babies as a cough suppressant? Yeah, the real world is exactly as immoral as this video game. What? Whatever. You gain plus two creativity and plus one money. I yeah, you got heroin. Dang. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody chooses a part of their body. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Male lactation. <laughs> <laughs> cervix. So, nipple? Cervix! Holy f <laughs> Um. The grundle. What's the, the grundle? What? The taint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My pinky toe. I'll explain Aww. it if I have to. <laughs> How wholesome compared to everything else. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, we know you probably wouldn't eat another human being. But provided you're forced to do so, player order is decided most on which oh part of the person's body you'd be most likely to eat. I think um, it was pinky toe. Uh, yeah, I go with pinky toe first. <laughs> yeah, pinky toe. 100 percent pinky toe. Alright. And then I mean some dairy is always good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> got the male lactation. Oh, <laughs> got milk. Oh my god. Can you, how do you prepare no, no. cervix? I, uh, uh, um, um, with the power of imagination and, and... Oh, you see, you have to serve it with a nice cabernet. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, a glass of Prosecco. <laughs> hey, let's go. Oh, shit. You know what, Alira, you hosted this. This is on you, which, com which comes third. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I didn't want to... I don't even know what part of the body yours was. Um, it's the area between like <laughs> it's the area at the exact middle bottom of your body, between. On a oh, between the <laughs> anus and the puse. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the grundle oh, or the taint. <laughs> I did. I was not aware there was a term for that section. Yeah. Wow. I, I'm learning so That's much. What a grundle <laughs> is. <laughs> Sounded like it's goblin. I know <laughs> what a grundle and what an empreg is now. Thank oh, you guys. Thank would, you. Would I rather eat what? that chin or the literal cervix? <laughs> the skin sounds less pain. <laughs> like I don't want to eat a whole side of the <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh my god. I love this game. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. This is going to bring up weird emotions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. You can hang out with that kid. I know. It's so tempting. I wonder what he does. Is he like a shop as well? Or does he like mess with things? I don't think so. He's probably just like another character. Oh. It doesn't seem like you'd spend much time with him, though. I doubt you could actually date him. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... 
going, I'm going, I'm going. You got this. Puff yourself up, hoping to look as big and tough and sporty as possible as you take your seat next to the wolf pack. Yeah. Hey, you. You know what it means that you took a seat at the wolf pack's table? Well, it probably means that you don't care that much about finding which love interest you're pursuing and or that table was already taken. It means you're one of that one of us. Oh, they're friendly. One of us. 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 Don't get us wrong, the second lunch is over. We 100% <laughs> go back to hating you because you're weak and not at our level, brah. Hey, he's a New Yorker now, let's go. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying over here. You got okay, it. Now, you might as well enjoy living your best werewolf life to the max. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes we like to stick with our class, we're just classic, blankety, hating on the other monsters, but other days we like to be aggressively inclusive. <laughs> and you caught us on an aggressively inclusive day. Yeah, bro. Sick. So, what classic real activity would you like to do in these brief glorious moments in which you get to be part of the T-E-A-M-E? Oh, you're so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> mm, correcting their spelling of team probably isn't a classic werewolf activity. Better go with something more like... Um, actually, it's T-A-M-E-A-M. -E <laughs> Howling at the moon or practicing Ikebana. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, super wolfy. I do love Ikebana. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's, it's like you're, you're in our minds already. Thank you for seeing that being part of the wolf pack is more than just playing sports, hitting the gym, and being total douche bro. Oh, werewolves, <laughs> werewolves, let's go. Wrong. There are still the three central pillars of wolf pack life, which is also super into Ikebana. <laughs> <laughs> you and the wolf pack slam dunk the rest of your respective lunches into the trash can and head outside to do some serious fucking flower picking <laughs> subsequent rain <laughs> game. Bro, bro, look at this arrangement mixing an azalea with a dahlia's dough. <laughs> oh, daisies and daffodils, extreme. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget putting your tie at 70 degrees, bro. Don't be an Ikebana noob. <laughs> Man, you guys with these sick bouquets, we're gonna be drowning in pansies and peonies and pussy. Oh, yeah! 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 They danced around it, then they dove right in. <laughs> well, leave it to the wolf pack to somehow turn floral arrangements into crude sexual remarks. Whoa! Yo! Hey, your flowers look bomb.com and you get plus four creativity. Wow! Let's go. I'm gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna pick the cat girl. I want to buy something. Okay. Oh, what's up? Ah, you miss me and my shit, huh, nya? Worry no more, nya. All this shit can be yours, nya. If you have the money, nya. Not me, though, nya. <laughs> Too poor for this. Ooh. Oh, what is that? It looks like a rocket. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, well, what's, what's on top of this? Oh, a penguin mask. That's a tampon. Oh, I'll... <laughs> oh god it is oh, mask. We want this you sick pervert I had no idea you appreciated the good old Reverse Romanian Wilkinson I must admit it's kind of hard that you're into that Kinky shit <laughs> A bag of regular cocaine for ten dollars Good old cocaine In these times of weird experimental Substances with horrible side effects Cocaine has become the new vanilla of drugs a tampon used by the former prom queen. Oh, you know, God. for good old blood rituals, or in case you're just to creep with unhealthy obsessions, don't even dare ask me how I got this. I think that's the only new one. Uh, uh, and let, let's go for it. I you might want the tampon? It. Yeah, I might need it. I'm proud of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who would want to save money for their college fund? Your jaw went say. down to zero. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's most likely useless. That's the spirit champ. Oh no. <laughs> sure. No way. Um, sure. I'll go hang out with Mermaid Girl. I want to start that. I have my options open. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Oh, what's this one for? Yo, That's the outfit the again. Scheme. It's a spoon for picking up your forks, so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. Oh, great. <laughs> and that one? 
That's the turning fork. It's for making sure all of your other silverware is turned to an A minor. Oh, tuning fork. <laughs> <laughs> making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor. As is proper. And what about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Do people ever invent new silverwares? All the time. But none of them are, are any good. It would take a genius of true... Subtly to improve on the existing canon. A genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. I, I have no creativity. This is gonna fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's salad hop. <laughs> Hands. <gasps> the salad hop. I, I need to know how this goes. A harp? For salad? Why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat a salad with a harp. Curtain! Who says anything about eating? Uh, isn't that what silverware is for? Perish the thought. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while you are elegantly avoiding your food. <coughs> Nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament on a harp while your serves eat your salad for you. <laughs> Back to the oh. serves. <laughs> yeah. oh, my serves will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. She's doing the tear pedal face. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> Miranda takes you harp shopping with her. It's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> um, um, eeny, meeny, miny. Hmm. So I can choose between the top right and the bottom right? Yeah. 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 Can you not try and like do other table? Oh, maybe that's number no, two. You can't. Yeah. Okay. Let's try the one with the nerd with Liam and Medusa girl. Yeah. Come on. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. This school has literally no rules, apparently. Uh, oh. Wine. Oh shit! He actually changed he his. He has a new Ooh, outfit. Oh. Yeah, it's like a dad's Jeez. sweater. <laughs> it's like a Christmas sweater. <laughs> I love it's it. Still so nerdy. <laughs> Look at he un her. He over nerdy I know her fucking jacket yeah. is laid. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wine. And most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. He's a vampire? I thought he was like a zombie. No, he's a vampire. Oh, okay. This is the Whoa. least sexy vampire of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a lot about fine wine, then? I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. Um, actually... That's just what the media wants you to think. So, do you know about wine or not? <sighs> Alas, in my centuries of living, I've only learned how to look good holding wine. Not how to evaluate it. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I'm not drinking another glass of that one. Vera points at a bottle with Polly's toilet wine written oh. on it in permanent marker. What I wouldn't give for an experienced sommelier to help us judge which wine is best. I can't believe you, you used know. the word sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most sommeliers just make stuff up anyway. You suavely recommend... Hey, I've watched... I've read the manga, like, God Drops or something, whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Try the sangria. It pairs well with seafood and blood. Ooh. The tendons in this robust Malbec are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison, perfect for diplomatic missions. Um... Hey, yo. Um, I've got one. the item with blood for the Which sangria. Which one? Oh, okay, the top one then. The top one. You want the sangria? Yeah. Nice. Oh, Do you know, uh, the pronounced sweetness and citrus flavors would go well with an unholy blood meal. <laughs> I've always tried to pair Pinot Noir with blood. You know, because noir means dark. <laughs> like in my show. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Not the snore. <laughs> oh my god. And I always gum? avoided sangria because the little bit of fruits in it made it seem inauthentic. 
But I suppose the clue is in the title, isn't it? This truly is a new dawn for sanguine cuisine. Ooh, the rhyme. Well, not dawn per se, but well, let's say a new dusk. Yes, oh, a new dusk for sanguine cuisine. Oh, oh my god. As so someone good. who does not literally drink blood, I'm afraid I can't share your enthusiasm. But I do like to imagine vampires getting chunks of fruit stuck between their fangs. <laughs> Liam ignores her. He's too busy gazing at you over the rim of his glass. He's a little drunk, but you don't judge. <laughs> Everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh, G-Star. Nike. Uh, Ed Hardy. Gucci! <laughs> oh, let's go! Uh. Oh, oh. Player order is decided based on how silly a mascot for the selected brand would be. The selected brand already has a mascot. Compare it to the imaginary mascots of the other brands. Start debating now. It's the oh, Gucci God. mascot. <laughs> I have Gucci no idea. Would that be like really a weird? walking bag. A walking bag that, like, a talked in Valley bag. Girl. Oh my god, hey! Welcome to Gucci! Oh yeah, everything's god. Gucci here, come on in! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the worst one. <laughs> hey, what? I think that wins just from pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for how silly it is. What the hell? Uh, Ed Hardy? Ed Hardy's I mean, like would it... fake tattoo vibes, like with the skull and the roses and the... What do you, do you guys know what Ed Hardy is? Yeah, no. so, uh, <laughs> I, I, I had an Ed Hardy shirt before, and, oh, and I think did. it'd be really weird if, like, like I, it, since, since it's his name, right? I imagine that only Ed Hardy would be the mascot for Ed Hardy. <laughs> it's <laughs> just <laughs> him walking. Yeah, exactly. You, like, <laughs> you bring up a list of all of the mascots, he just walks up and just scratches his ass, looks into the camera, and then walks away. <laughs> Sounds legit. Sounds legit. Let's go. You can go on. Second? Yes, yeah, yeah. follow second. I I can't imagine either of ours would be really funny. They'd be really basic. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> um, flip a coin. I choose tails. Oh god, okay, wait, let me get a coin. <laughs> um, 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 ah, um flip a I have a coin. hammer. You chose what? heads? I yeah. chose tails. Okay, yeah, it was Tails. Like... Okay, I'm right. third. Dopey was fourth. Sounds good, sounds good. Sounds good. Wait, oh. did you say you're flipping a hammer? Wait, I just... I, I had... I, ha I couldn't find a... a <laughs> coin, so I had a hammer. Oh you have God. a hammer more than you have a coin. <laughs> <laughs> in your purse. When you're wallet, you just have hammers. Yes. Scarlet uh, does a lot of interesting streams. That's so crazy. <laughs> awesome, though. Yeah. Where would you like to go, El Wee Wee? I need money. Hey. Oh. Oh. That day you spend some time in the library's PC sending malicious spam emails for the hopes of stealing other people's money. Hey there, cutie uh. pie. I found your bro. Let's chat. Oh my. <laughs> it doesn't sound very I'm nice, scamming. but who really is the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game. So who cares? And you gain plus two money. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> it's almost time for football practice, but you see Scott without his uniform on, looking sadder than you've ever seen him. Oh, no. I just can't believe it, bro. Oh, no. Coach kicked me off the team. No. It's not fair. <laughs> I was supposed to know the new cocaine powder drink was contained cocaine. Oh, baby no! boy. Oh, baby boy. Oh, this story's continuing. This is great. Oh, no. But rules are rules. And apparently doing a bunch of cocaine is against those rules. What am I going to do, bro? Sports is my life. A life without sports is a life without life. Please, bro. Help me figure out a way to get back on the team. Oh, Gotta oh, save no. him, that wee wee. You'd love to help, but the only question is how? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, they're both bad! 
<laughs> Spike the punch with Coke on prom night. If the whole team is on Coke, Coach will have to let you play. All we've got to do is convince Coach that it's a good thing. Little hands-on oh demonstration God. wouldn't hurt. Oh, no. Like, listen, Coach. <laughs> this first one is it? so bad. Yeah, it's like, do you want to give it to a bunch of teenagers or to one coach? If I go That's down, true. you all go down with me. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's just like Coach always says. A real team does everything together. Running, throwing, even pooping. Ew. <laughs> just like that one time the coach brought us into the locker room and he told us to all poop together. We could do cocaine together too. Oh my God. It'd be a real no. bonding experience. This is not the Thanks, coach. Is that coach will see how committed I am to the team and he'll have to let me play. My favorite thing about this plan <laughs> is that there's nothing illegal or unethical about it. Oh, oh baby boy. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna have to find some cocaine though. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> oh my god, that shouldn't be a problem. In fact, you're pretty sure you saw someone selling some somewhere. Oh no. You gain plus two creativity game. and plus one fun. Oh, Yo, you're go. so creative. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's without any items. That's wild. Um, let's see. Uh, boldness. Where do I go for boldness? The bathroom. Let's hey. go to the bathroom. Oh my that God. day you skip class. Whoa. What the frick is that? It's a, <laughs> it's a defibrillator because she's a zombie. Oh, I thought oh. it was just like a car battery. That works. <laughs> <laughs> that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you teach yourself in the mirror that you're so bold that you could kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. Damn. That monster sack was would instantly give you plus five hundred boldness. Ooh. Ooh. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? <laughs> you know what? You can keep the plus two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. Aww. Let's go. That's me, honestly, though. True. Later, you see Liam scroll. <laughs> 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 Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the em embodiment of Inouye. Oh my. Well, if it isn't Scarlos, I totally wasn't stalking or anything. What are you doing? <laughs> stalking classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? <laughs> oh my god, he really was. <laughs> Magnificent! I could use some rather absurd advice. <laughs> I was exchanging messages with a were koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turnoff. Wanna know my top six? It's right between sarcasm, oh, illiteracy, and actually being a pickle and not a person. Funniest thing I've ever seen, man. Funniest, Funniest thing I've ever thing seen. Ever. <laughs> the postmodern protocol dictates for me just to ghost him and never talk to him again. But that's horrible! I'd never do that to someone! You see, I, Liam Hansworthy, mysteriously yet a true gentleman... A true gentleman? What? Neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel, and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. So, I've settled on just sending him a bunch of emojis and then never texting him again. I should do it, right? Jesus. <laughs> the thing is, how can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? Nerd emoji, please. Nerd please just emoji. Nerd. <laughs> This is your nerd. time to shine. Show Liam you excel at complex sen sentiments, so he might someday feel like sharing them with you. Nerd emoji and one hand up. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe a croissant. <laughs> Shooting star, trumpet, or crocodile. Hey. This one, the Ooh, little crocodile. vampire. <laughs> growing, disinterested, and overly attached we're a koala emoji. That one's so direct. Holy shit. Um, emoji. This one? Wait, which one? Yeah, that, that could one. be. Uh, okay. The second one? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that one is clearly the best option. How did I think of it? <laughs> Which version should I choose? Little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached wear koala? Or little vampire with a silly hat growing disinterested and overly attached wear koala? <gasps> silly oh hat. my god. Maybe the silly hat's not suited for this situation. Uh, let's go with the classic. 
Okay, I just sent it. It texted me back. <gasps> Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, the weird koala being understanding of the little vampire's feelings and respecting them even a bit with heart emoji. Heart emojis. Oh I'm god. I'm replying back with the formerly grateful and ready to move on poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. I like this universe. Uh, yeah, I know. There's an emoji for everything. <laughs> Look at this. He just texted me the emoji that's waving his hand like he's saying bye with an expression that says he's going to break all bonds but being, without being resentful about it. Perfect. We saw this as a team. Cheers to us! And oh cheers God. to the creative people that have turned every complex feeling and scenario in a friendly and colorful emoji. You gained plus two charm and plus one creativity. Yay! Oh. Damn. I'm a broken record, but send me to charm again. You took my money. <laughs> okay, here we go. A day in epic dodgeball match takes place. Yep, yep, that happens a lot. But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn. You know how to win over people's hearts. You're getting plus two charm. I really just want winked at a man and we won. Let's go. Between class periods, you discover a severed horse head in your locker. Has a note in his mouth telling you to meet Vera ASAP. Hell yeah. yeah. She godfathered me. <laughs> I am so glad you came. You've come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app based assassinations, and yet. the other crime lords don't take me seriously. <laughs> Just because I'm not a 40 year old man with a scary scar, those sexist morons think this is a phase for me? How dare. How dare they? Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? It's disgusting. Damn. Tell him. How can I show these chauvinist goons what crime really means to me? Take their balls! I hope so. <laughs> Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. Quick crime. They'll come crawling back once they see how bad it is without you. Hell no. Write a song about it, I'll help. No! <laughs> These well, are there's no balls Where are the balls? Yeah, there's no horse heads, there's no balls, there's no viruses. You know what? Quick crime. We'll girl boss it. We'll make them suck at it. Okay. Ooh. You know, I've got, the, I've got the charm. If this <laughs> advice was coming from anyone other than you, I'd ignore it. But you haven't been wrong yet. Fine. As of today, I'm quitting crime. I'll let the other bosses know. I'm sure they'll be all so pleased. And they're gonna suck at it. A few days later, you're getting a manicure with Vera when Gunbozo Gianetti, <laughs> arch humorist of the deranged clown assembly, busts in weeping. Well, either he's weeping or he's got a sad face painted on his regular face. It's hard to tell no! the clown. This is great. <laughs> What are you even doing here, Bozo? Didn't they tell you I quit crime? Gumbozo makes a series of gestures, honks and quacks, clownish. Luckily, Vera's fluent. She's down to clown, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> <laughs> What's that you say? The world of crime is a wreck without me? Do tell. Hmm. He says nobody's been able. He says nobody's been able to get good poison since I retired. Everyone's money is frightfully unlaundered. <laughs> Plus, half the bosses are dead because the letters I sent out announcing my sabbatical were full of vicious fungal spores. Oh my God. Let's go! She murdered everyone. <gasps> well, I had no idea you were so all miserable without me. You can tell the bosses I'm back in the game. Oh shit, bitch. Yeah, she's so good. So Gumbozo leaps up in the air and clicks the heel of his enormous red shoes. <laughs> We're going home. I love you too, Bozo. We'll have a gang war to celebrate. See you on the battlefield. <laughs> Bozo runs out of the nail salon and piles into his tiny car with his 20 clothes on. <laughs> Kira looks at you dumbstruck. I must say, I never thought this would work. You truly are a loyal advisor. Anything for you. 
Oh, if you could be more than just an advisor. But you can't risk sharing your true feelings. Better just take the plus two smarts and plus one money and move on. Let's do this. Good. Let's oh, do this. We'll go to... Uh, which one's creativity? Oh, the last oh, one. The last uh, one. Left one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not as a shop again. Oh, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, Nya. You're probably going to end up losing your money, Nya, in some stupid way anyway, Nya. So why not spend it here first, Nya? It's called just being smart, Nya. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll the way you can only you can buy one anything. thing. <laughs> oh, you're too poor for the event. I know. Oh, this one's free again. This might be really good. This yeah, was the gun yeah. for me. It's, it's the only thing we can get. Let's, let's go. All let's right, go. here you go. And go, go, gotcha, go, 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 and go, 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 gotcha, go, 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 and go, go, gotcha, go, and go, gotcha. Oh! Ooh, mind control. Ooh! There's a potential sir. Because inside every person is a potential sir. Let's go! Oh! Ooh, yeah! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That weekend, you find Scott gazing lovingly at a pickle and sad look in his eyes. Oh! Oh, hey, bro. Maybe you could help me make a really tough choice. <gasps> See, I really like El Wee Wee the Third, <gasps> but I'm not sure I can commit yet because I also really like Echoes. <laughs> oh my god! This pickle! Look at it! It's so green and warty and exactly the right size for a pickle! Uh... This pickle, it was made for me! It's my size! I no! I was such a good person, but this pickle is such a good pickle! I can't choose! Won't you help me? Um... That's, a literal, that's literally just a pickle. You can make out with the Wee Wee the third while also having a pickle, it's fine. Or are you telling me you just throw away this pickle for a chance with El -O Wee Wee the third? A pickle like this only comes along once in a lifetime. <laughs> oh, um... you really just get to choose whether you sabotage a Lyra, right? <laughs> Ooh, Scarl. Oh, no. I don't know. About... <laughs> I'm not good at making important decisions. Whatever you, whatever you think is right. Oh, well, what do you, what do you want? Oh, no, whatever you think is right. No, no. All wrong. you, all you. No. Um, uh, you really want a Lyra to, uh, El Wee Wee the Third to end up with, uh, <laughs> Scott? Yeah, you no, really wanted to I end got... up with a guy who, <gasps> like, think of her on the same level as a pickle? No, you make out. Wait, wait. Oh, so I do it. Yeah, do the first one. That's the right oh. one, right? The, wait, right? That's, that's the one that like, this is wait, the one. one sets them up. Yeah, it sets them up. I want the one where you fight for a Wiwa. Yeah, that's number one. Okay, number two? No one. Wait. Oh, wait. it's not you. I want <laughs> you where you so. fight for a Wiwa. Number one is where you like go, tell him to pursue a Lyra. Number two is where you tell him, no, the pickle's better. Pursue a Wiwa. Okay, number oh, one. Let's what? go. She locked you in. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, this is me. You're telling me I can have this pickle and go out without Wee Wee the Third? But Coach always says you can't have your pickle and eat it too. Oh my God. Wait, are you saying that if I go out without Wee Wee the Third, I don't have to eat the pickle? I mean... Well, <laughs> yes, that's the true thing. You have no idea why he thought he would have to eat this pickle. Unbelievable. All this time, I thought I was really in a pickle, but it turns out the pickle was inside me all along. <gasps> Crazy. Or, oh, I mean, outside of me, but it doesn't need to be inside of me. <laughs> I don't need to be inside of it. It's so simple. <laughs> I can enjoy my pickle and have it too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the fucking phrasing is so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh God. <laughs> It is really simple, way simpler than Scott's making it. But you know better than to get between a werewolf and his pickle. You gained a plus three charm. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Lordy, lordy. Everyone chooses a historical figure. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Marcus Aurelius. George um, Washington. <laughs> um, um. Riku Tazumi-san. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Rizu Salami. Wait, who? Rizu Salami. Okay. It's <laughs> Rizu Salami. <laughs> Don't worry about 
picture this. Five years ago, this historical what? figure time traveled to our times. Now they live in the present time. Players is decided based on how likely you would buy a gossip magazine that contains hot info on how the historical figure is now in a relationship with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my god. Yeah, Riku Tazumi. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> And then I think George Washington. <laughs> really? I think that would be... Well, it's, it's between that and Marcus Aurelius, but I think people would be more interested in George Washington. <laughs> Up to you. You know, just random, the other ones? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh! Random oh, all of it. Of them oh. one, what? What? It was Rizu Salami! Rizu Salami, no! I <laughs> Rizu it, Salami! I thought it wouldn't random all of it. Oh, actually, I think we can finish today. Well, yeah, we can finish today. This is only like three hours. This is good. Uh, let's go first. Oh, I'm sorry, James. Fun! To the left, to the left! Fun? Fun! Wait, no! The, the, what's the, the, the one to the left, left? That, that one, one is creativity? Yeah. Way. Um, which one will make something zesty happen? Ooh. <laughs> zesty. I want some zesty. We have not seen you in the gym yet, have we? No. I don't think all making money either. Hmm. To the gym! All to right. the gym! Can you raise your charm? Yeah. Uh, charm do already be very high. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you okay. want, though. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, go to the fun. Fun, fun, fun it fun is. Fun time. Yeah, where are you going to put me first? Over there, over there. Hey, she's throwing it back again. That day during <laughs> recess, you start a half hour race that goes crazy. Full crazy, I can't read. You spot Juan, <laughs> the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. No. You have no idea how bad it is. Okay, Fabio. <laughs> he explains to you that he worried people are you so used to calling him Juan the small magical Latino cat that now everyone defines him only by his size and magic magicality and ethnicity and species. He's more than that. So much you more. <laughs> you correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. Mm. You tell him you'll mm -hmm. never forget about him. In Crazy Adventures, you both live together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Y you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. That's so cute. <laughs> it is cute. You notice Liam and Polly taking a break from the rave. You dance over to join them. Hey, boo. Yo, we're, I can't read. Were we just talking about that insane music festival we were going to this weekend? You're going, right? Shit, you forgot about to get the tickets. They're probably all sold out now, and there's no way you can afford to pay a scalper. Obviously, you tell them you're going, though. You've never let the truth get in the way of you talking to hotties. Oh, go I... Yes, I can't wait! All my favorite bands are gonna be there. Boo Radley, imagine a fucking dragon, and an actual dead mouse! An <laughs> actual <laughs> dead mouse. Personally, I'm most excited about veggie scales. Veggie guitarist is a cucumber. It's never been done before! Veggie scales. Veggie scales. Oh, everyone's here. Hello, friends. What are we talking about? Is it a grand ball? Oh, um, sort of. It's like a grand ball, except everyone is more naked and the dancing is sexier. And there are a lot more drugs. <laughs> what is drugs? Oh no! Oh, oh There's no, no you drugs know in porn. True. <laughs> Poor girl. You know what? You wouldn't understand. It's a peasant thing. You did get me arrested for the porn before, though. <laughs> No, wait, this is perfect. If you can convince Liam and Polly to invite Miranda to the music festival, maybe she'll cover your ticket too. <gasps> if a party happens in the forest and there are no party virgins to be bewildered by it, it is really a party. You know, you guys, if we bring Miranda, then her royalty status will give us diplomatic immunity. Hey! Hmm. Ooh. Thanks. Second one. I love how we're all just second bullying one? this poor mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, second one. You mean no one will be able to arrest us? Oh my god, I can totally bring Bazooka Blow! What the f? 
You mean the drugs show illegal that even thinking about purchasing it is punishable by a severe spanking? Oh, shit. Some people are into that, I mean. Yep, that's why I think about purchasing it so much. Hey. <laughs> but it's so rare. It's so obscure. I need to do it. You could say I'm addicted to obscurity. No. <laughs> Oh. Worry no more. After a bit of bazooka blow, you will be only addicted to bazooka blow. <laughs> or dead. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, Miranda? Want to come with us and keep us out of trouble? Assuredly, but I ask again. What is drugs? Oh, oh um, it's like party favors. <laughs> yes, party favors for your brain. <laughs> I love party favors. I shall purchase some of this bazooka blow immediately. Oh no. No sooner has Miranda thought about her purchase <gasps> than the cops show up to spank you all. <laughs> You're protected by Miranda's diplomatic immunity, but you let them spank you anyway, just for fun. You gain plus two <laughs> fun and plus fun. one boldness. It's all good. <laughs> well, plus your fun. That's so nice. funny. Oh, uh, send me to class. class. Oh, smart. was like, what? Sorry, if you okay? I said, uh, Futan was like, well, some people do it for fun. Turns out it was us. <laughs> Why is this my game? That's so secure. So I dare you, Teacher delivers an amazing creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. The teacher gains plus 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. He better not be. It's a different show. Or is he? We hope not. <laughs> oh, you also gain plus two smarts. Hooray! I love YouTube, yeah. <laughs> As you walk down the hallway trying to beat a level of bone crush on your phone, you run smack into Vera, also engrossed in her phone. Sure, feel free to read over my shoulder. You wouldn't understand the charts anyway. Oh, actually, I have 11 smart. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's been mouthing off about a princess, about being a princess again, as if that's so amazing. Pathetic. She's a princess underwater. You know what's underwater? Sea slugs and fish shit. Oh, Vera, do you know why the ocean is so salty? <laughs> Sorry, keep going. You know what's not underwater? This school. True. Why should birthright matter when there are so many other factors that determine a person's worth? Their beauty, their cruelty, their business sense, and using all these factors, I've divided the school into cools and uncools. Oh no. Now, I just need to find a way to reinforce the superiority of the cools over the uncools. This is mean girls. She, she wants a full on caste system. <laughs> Uncool students should have to carry cool students from class to class on chases. Rooting squid should, rotting squid should be thrown at uncool students to remind them how uncool they are. Oh, I'm gonna go with the rotting squid. That sounds fantastic. Nice. Not bad. It's true. The uncool student should really start taking responsibility for being the worst. Yes. And Miranda uses fear-mongering tactics all the time. She shouldn't have strangle. She shouldn't have a stranglehold on that. Mm. So to speak. <laughs> well, maybe I could throw a squid at them and then sell a squid repellent. That way, I can profit off their humiliation. And we're taking away some of her subjects from the sea. It's so genius. It works in every direction. Really <laughs> <By> the, <laughs> yeah, we actually we really get each other. <laughs> By the end of the week, most students have at least a black eye or eight. Some students are spiders. From being bombarded with squid. Vera, meanwhile, has created a thriving startup based on the distribution of squid repellents. <laughs> Turns out dead squid being used as projectiles aren't really repelled by scent. But it also turns out the student body at this school is really, really gullible. Vera gains money and status, and you gain plus two money as royalties for your idea and plus one smarts. Let's go! Royalties. Damn. Royalties, baby. Stonks. Mm. Oh. That day you visit the bathrooms to take a number two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there won't be an illustration for that specific moment. Damn. <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. 
Oh. Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one. Uh, plus one SP. <laughs> <laughs> plus one SP, holy shit. <laughs> Just happen to be hanging around near Scott. You know, not because you're like following him or anything. When oh, suddenly, you're following him now. <laughs> a rift opens in time and space. Handsome Prince steps through. What? Medic and other word. Finery. What? He approaches God. Not this shit again. Oh, my love. Oh, with God, it's him. Oh, hi. My beloved, I have quested across dimensions to see your face. <laughs> oh, well, here it is. Here's my face. Oh, God. It is more than just your faces I need. Scott the Great, tosser of balls. I also need your body. Mm. Tosser of balls. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Luckily, I brought that with me too. But I do not desire to merely gaze upon your body. But that in itself is a pleasure. Why is he space boyfriend from Amori? <laughs> Bro, legit. I know, right? <laughs> My kingdom, you see, is besieged by a foul, vile harp, and only your muscles can save us. And once the loathsome beast is vanquished, perhaps we can find some other uses for that body of yours. Wink. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. You say wink out loud, too? That's so cool. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh cute. These two are getting along way too well. You need to slay that beast yourself before Scott and the prince spend any more time together. But how? <laughs> <laughs> Rally a swarm of extra dimensional termites to devour the dire harp spine. Sweet, sing so sweetly that the dire harp. What? <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> Must uh, be. I don't know. Um. I know. I kind of mm. like the termite. <laughs> I don't know if that's a little line. crazy, though. <laughs> I kind of, kind of like. What? Oh, you with no. nine charm? Oh. Wow, really? That's... I'm with your termite summoning flute. You dash through the extra dimensional portal before the prince can react. Dire harp blooms over the prince's palace, saliva dripping from its terrible streams. <laughs> <laughs> then you're rushed to summon the extra dimensional termites. You fail to notice the dire harp is made of fiberglass, not wood. <sighs> Fact that nothing in the princess I mentioned is made out of wood. It's all fiberglass and crystal and polyester. Not the polyester. The closest thing to wood within a thousand miles is you. Whoa, bro. Stop getting eaten by all those termites. Don't you know that's bad for you? But you can't oh, stop. No. And you won't stop. Meanwhile, Scott and the prince... No, viciously tag teamed the dire harp. <laughs> and afterwards, they totally exchange phone numbers. <gasps> and your room. Super pissed oh. if you weren't so busy being eaten by a giant purple termites. No! It's okay. They're, they're just going to be long range friends. It's fine. Oh. Natonade is strong. <laughs> uh, let's so go strong. to the gym. Alrighty. Ooh. Ooh. Ayo. Ooh, Ayo. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. By betting part of your charm against part of the other team leader's charm. Ooh. Well, I'm at zero, you so... Zero. <laughs> yeah, you <did> it <laughs> that commitment amazes your old team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win, and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a little bit less fabulous. Let's go. Suddenly, you hear the elegant gurgling sound of water trumpets. Miranda's is about to issue a royal decree. I, Princess Miranda Vanderbilt, grant you permission to speak casually with me for a short period. You're welcome. Fuck yeah. You're awesome at speaking <laughs> casually. Let's do this. Now that we're speaking casually, I'm, I really wanted to tell you about the event of the season. No, not prom. I mean the event of the season for poor people. <laughs> I mean the Royal Winter oh. Surf Party Mandatory Celebration Festival. Festivality of surfly service. <laughs> My surfs and I are total BFFs, so I decided to throw them all a party to celebrate their lifelong mandatory service to the Royal Vanderbilts. And since I love my surfs so much, 
This party must be the absolute best. I'll spare no expense. Your voice is so perfect for that, by the way. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so <laughs> long. She talks so much! Holy shit! Yeah. So, I'll really have my sir's bill an underwater ground hall for the celebration. It should only take about 12 days of non-stop back-breaking labor. Plus, we'll need decorations for the party. So, I'll have some serfs that all dressed up and tie themselves to the walls. So cute! <laughs> and we don't want any of my serfs missing the party if their family members get sick. So, we'll have to issue a decree. Serfs are no longer allowed to have families. <laughs> Oh God. I'm the most generous princess of all time. But of course, I don't want you to think that I'm spoiling them. So I'll need your mind control classes just to make sure we don't have any serfs insisting that they value their families or anything done like that. Your oh, heart shit. is now dopey. No. Hand over your mind control class safe to Miranda. She's so good at controlling you. It's terrifying to think about what she'll do with actual mind control powers, but who cares? You stand this watery bay. <laughs> Yo, Chan, no! I'm just no. so excited. I feel like singing. I I wish he took my tampon instead. No, <laughs> oh my no. God. That's a little bit less useful for me. No, you're keeping that to the end of time, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it around my neck. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Suddenly, God. an adorable little eel pops out of Miranda's purse. I'm not yes. That's a great idea, Princess Miranda. Let's sing. Yay! <laughs> Miranda what starts melting. American. <laughs> <laughs> and the eel starts singing back up. Wow, this eel has shockingly great harmony. Oh, damn. Aww. Damn. The seaweed is always greener in a democratic state. But my what? loyal serfs all of my exceedingly high tax rates. <laughs> <laughs> under my rule, under my rule, serflings know better. They serve me forever. Now eat your gruel. Princess <laughs> <laughs> Ten out of ten. Ten out of yeah. ten. Monarchy for life. <laughs> What a charming little tune. Who knew that monarchy could sound so fun? Miranda bows while you clap enthusiastically. You're amazing. W wow, Princess Miranda, you're so amazing. You have the prettiest singing voice in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? My execution serfs were made sure that no one in the whole world was better singer. Now let me introduce <laughs> my song surf, Mr. Feel the Eel. For pleasure to meet you. I'm the luckiest eel ever because I get to help Prince Miranda plan the winter surf party. Look at the little blush. I know, I it's know, so cute. So cute. Yeah. Oh, That's right. Of course, I need my surf to do the most of the preparations for the party, as I'll be entirely consumed by the planning process. The burden of leadership falls upon royalty, after all. For example, I'm going to do all the difficult mental work of deceiving that there will be drinks at the party. Deciding that there will be drinks at the party. <laughs> now that I've done the first half of the work, I'll leave you two to decide what kind of drinks, and how we'll get them, and who's going to pay for them, and all the rest of the planning. Oh my god, you, you, you're so smart, Princess Miranda. We'll take it from here. His eyes are tortured. <laughs> it's just like, his <laughs> eyes are so wide. Have you guys seen Bill really Burnham's Inside? Because it's like the hand puppet, the sock puppet from that. That's so no. scary. Yeah. Yay! I'll leave this to you two because I need to go recline in a velvet chase and grise out the window longingly. What? Amazing opportunity. Oh my god! Oh, the death shit. of the princess. No! Wait. What? Good job, comrade. No need to whack. No need to act. Continue the charade, comrade. The tyrant is out of earshot. <laughs> the band of build scares have united together in hatred. And after our years of pain and toil, we shall finally send the princess straight to the depths of her watery hell. Let your loathing boil to the surface as we plan her demise. <laughs> oh, <they're laughs> <uprising now. laughs> this foolish party she has planned will be the setting of our assassination. 
And while I care not what drink fills the punch bowl, be sure not to partake. And I will add in a massive dose of poison to the beverage, ensuring that all the princess's gods will be deceased by the time the party is through. The revolution is here. Oh, oh my no. god. I take my leave, comrade. May you dream of the end of tyranny, the end of monarchy, the end of Princess Miranda. <laughs> Whoa! Wait. Oh, oh God. Just as Mr. Feel the eel is swimming away. Wait, uh, how is he swimming? You're not underwater. D didn't anyone tell the eel the laws of physics? Miranda returns. I'm back! Oh, that gazing was so exhausting. I assume that you finished planning the drinks? Uh, think fast. It'll break Miranda's heart. You know her serfs are flying to assassinate her, but you can't let her die before prom. She's the only one with a hookup for another one for an underwater limo. Oh, thank God your creativity is high. You've got this your chance. Go, 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 go. Okay, drinking's overrated, Miranda. You can't have drinks at your party. Or do you want your serfs getting ideas? Or, you know what? Nowadays, cool kids only drink the latest, trendiest soda flavor. Poison antidote. <laughs> Ooh. I, I feel like she'd get that second one more. She's, she's a little <laughs> bit, she's a little bit naive, but we'll go with the second one. The second one? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh! Oh, dang it. Oh. oh, nah. Oh, it's over. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> she's so dead. It's over. You killed Really? Me. Amazing. My serfs will love the soda, but more importantly, everyone will be talking about how I'm so trendy and tasteful. Baby, no! Miranda, <laughs> Miranda gets so excited about poison antidote soda that she ends up starring in a commercial for them. Oh my god. What? In which Miranda quells a surf rebellion with excessive force and hands a poison antidote soda to a private police force captain. It's not a great look. Oh no, the Pepsi. <laughs> You! Now everyone is saying that I'm out of touch with the disgusting lily peasant class! How dare they! I have great affection for the underlings who I force to conform to my every whim! I've decided that this whole thing is your fault! Yep, that's right. This is an official royal guilt trip. Suffer, you dummy! The guilt, it burns. Miranda quickly recovers her reputation by issuing an apology video. But you lose your sponsorship deal with Soda, <laughs> along with minus two fun and minus one money. At like least I still have my necklace. I, don't I still have my necklace. Eye. Can't I take can just, that away from me. Yeah, you've always got the necklace. <laughs> You're terrible. The tampon necklace? necklace? Yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine Miranda starting a video with like a big... <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't forget like the two minute silence looking down at the fur at the beginning. Yes. The three ad breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody oh chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Dog. Oh, no. Lynx. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the liger. Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Narwhal. Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for the selected animal to take over humankind. <laughs> Dogs well, have taken over humankind without a doubt. I think. So. I almost think that would be cats more. Dogs are just kind of ready to serve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. you. I think narwhals could be planning something. Liger? Real? Yeah, ligers need revenge, to be fair. Ligers have had some bad They're times. Not even... Are they real? Yeah, well, yeah. ligers become zoids, and zoids are really big, so... Oh, very true. I only know about liger from Napoleon Dynamite. Me too! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Vote for Pedro! <laughs> Vote for Pedro in Monster Pro. Bro! I like the idea of... Yeah, the Zoid thing got me. You're right, P.O. <laughs> Let's go Liger. Liger ah! number one. I didn't even think they were real. All right. And then I think Narwhal. Narwhal was going to be planning something. They've got those giant stabby bits. Uh, I think that works. Wow. Yeah. Then probably Doggos. Doggos are closer. There's yeah, so many the, Doggos. The, uh, the Atari Lynx. Nobody liked that, so. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh. Oh, um, 
All right. Oh, all right. Um, who the hell is that? I don't oh know yeah, Kyo. they're badass looking. You thought that was who? Kyo. <laughs> That's crazy. Dad, we have to raise my affection with this guy. I can't lose him to the space prince. No, not the space boyfriend. Looks like Scott and Zoe are having marshmallows for lunch. Say that because their cafeteria table is covered in literal mountains of marshmallows. Zoe Ooh. slams a marshmallow into her mouth. Smiley impressive. <laughs> That's 15 marshmallows. Scott stuffed six marshmallows into his mouth at once. Slightly more impressive. <laughs> oh, what? What am I? Crazy. Free. I'm the king of the mallow. Ugh. I, I didn't want to have to do this, but you will leave me no choice, rival. Oh, here comes the other mouth. So it begins to glow purple and, con and convul convulse. Her tentacles swell. You smell death itself. Oh no. Ancient yeah. chaos doomed to worlds. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> Cloud of marshmallows rise up into the air and Zoe's countless mouths all open with infinite hunger. All of the mellows fly into Zoe's gaping maws. Cafeteria windows open as all marshmallows in the 50 mile radius are summoned to their doom. Unspeakably impressive. It's kind of hot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, no fair! <laughs> if I counted correctly, I've now eaten 13,666 marshmallows exactly, which means I win. Not cool. Wait, that's like very not cool. You can't use more than one mouth during an indie contest. It's cheating. And I would know because I've used my hands at soccer one time and I still feel bad about it. Aw. I so no way. Puppy. I didn't cheat. That validity is this impromptu marshmallow match is my whole reason to live and my whole reason to not destroy this amazing marshmallow filled planet. <laughs> Quick, referee this athletic dispute before the whole planet is destroyed. We can't control how many mouths we have. That's not nice. Scott, are you a good boy or not? <laughs> oh, not the good boy. Oh. Scott, please smart and creative. Don't you have many other holes you can hit? <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Other <laughs> holes? <laughs> yeah, he's thinking question. about it. Scott oh, scratches his head, finds his ear. Based on his reaction, this might be the first time he's noticed he has ears. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, wow, I found another hole already. I'm back in the game. And there's two more holes on my face. I wasn't even using them. Scott stuffs oh, no. every single orifice with marshmallows, and it's definitely hot. Cold. <laughs> cool. You found a fun new fetish to enjoy. Every Curse single you, orifice. <laughs> all the orifices. All the orifices. <laughs> Curse you, rival! Your whole jutsu is just too strong for me! I lose! Whole jutsu. Whole jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> whole jutsu. Oh, God. Scott's mouth, ears, and nose are full of marshmallows. Even though he can't speak, hear, or breathe, you can tell he's overjoyed about winning. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm curious about and then he died. There. Let me go to the left table over there. Hey, little red riding hood. You find the Slayer sitting alone at the table. Is she a student or what? She doesn't possible. even go here. Wait. Wait. You oh, sorry. You can, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it, yeah. Either way. If you want to read, you can. You can. You, you can, oh, wait, wait. wait, you're choosing to sit with me? For some reason, no one ever intentionally sits next to me. I usually have to ambush them and threaten to kill them. Oh, badass. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Anyway, I'm really happy you... I mean, I'm flattered that... I, I mean, I actually... um Wouldn't give a shit about you under normal circumstances. Aww. But today, I'm on a quest. Yeah, that's right. I'm not emotionally vulnerable. I'm just on a quest to slay the werewolf of Wall Street. And I need a monster sidekick. That's You're gonna help that. me, obviously. I just need to know what your class is. Are you a fighter? A mage? A cleric? Out with it. Oh, you're something much better. You're a... Uh, Hardy Smith or fun haver? <laughs> Hardy Smith! A party smith? How is being able to craft a wicked party from nothing going to help me slay the werewolf of Wall Street? She clearly oh, no. hasn't watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I've already committed to bringing you along. 
I suppose you can be my scrappy comic relief. Sc bit blah. Clearly, the Slayer is uninitiated in the mysteries <laughs> of the Party Smith. Got you it. out to prove her wrong. <laughs> By organizing a party so baller that only a fool would miss miss it, you made it to lure the werewolf of Wall Street out in the open. But what he doesn't know is that the guest list for your party included... Basically, just a fuck ton of knives in Wolfsbane. The wolf yeah. dies of how he lived, high as balls on cocaine. <laughs> Why is this game? All right. Well, that was probably a fluke. But I'll hit you up if we do get a sequel or a spinoff. <laughs> and, um, let me know if you want to sit with me at lunch again. Aww. Aww, adorable. Yeah. You probably want to in the sequel. I like I hope she comes back. Yeah. The world is a crazy place for your top-notch party smithing you gain plus four fun. You! Let's go. Let's go. I'll sit, uh, in the middle. Vera is spending her lunch period scheming, as usual. Calculester looks on in a, in a mechanical approximation of dismay. <laughs> now, if I can just get the poison into the next shipment of cafeteria food, the starving students will be forced to pay me inflated prices for my authentic food flakes. <laughs> Vera, no, do not do this. Why? Have you determined that it's unprofitable? No. Pathetic. Are you looking for a cut? Negative. <laughs> Are you a Robocop? You have to tell me if you're a Robocop. <laughs> I am not a law officer, but what you are planning to do is wrong. <sighs> Agree to disagree. Error. Cannot comply with internally contradictory instructions. Meltdown imminent. Uh-oh. This could get ugly. We need to chill Calculester out or, or convince Vera to change her ways. Uh, don't worry, Cal. Oh yeah, it's a nice jacket. It's, it's got that Shenmue. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, like so Shenmue look. Don't worry, oh Cal. Vera's just being helpful. Sure, the poison may kill some people, but those who survive will be more resistant to poison in the future or whatever. <laughs> or... Calculester's right, Vera. I mean, did you even check to see if your poison is vegan friendly? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's important. I, I agree. Let's go with the bottom one. <laughs> My... God, you're right! My go-to poison uses basilic blood as a base. It's good for routine political assassinations and killing people who disagree with me, but for a mass operation like this... <laughs> the basilisk rights activists will be up in arms, and some of them have a lot of arms because they're octopi! <laughs> oh well... Back to the drawing board. Looks like I'll have to find a plant-based poison to work with. Uh, analysis. Friend is still attempting an unethical plan, but on a larger timescale with animal-friendly ingredients. Initializing love.exe. I accept this marginal improvement. James, you are technically a good person. <laughs> technically. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Aww. He likes you. Probably. Aww, sure. cute. I'll take it. So cute. Um, send me to the top left. There we go. Heck yeah. The table you choose is quite crowded. Liam sits across from Miranda, who's flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. They're feeding each other now. Seriously, Miranda, you have servants to chew your food for you? What? Of course not! That would be barbaric! The servant happily swallows the Salisbury steak. I have servants to eat for me. They're called eating serfs. Don't you have any? First of all, no. I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Are you worried about starving? Why would I be? My serfs get all the calories I need to stay fit and healthy. Oh. Ugh. I have no objective reason to care about this, but suddenly it's all I care about! Someone, convince Miranda to stop this madness! 
Maybe you should stop start this madness, Liam. Imagine all the food you could take pictures of without having to eat any of it. But Miranda, look at the contented smile on that servant's face. You think he's eating for you, but secretly he's eating for himself. Yes, do that one. Make her, make her kill a surf. No, it can't be. Gordo, say it isn't true. But Gordo can't say anything because his mouth is full of delicious Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, which he is obviously eating entirely for his own benefit. Traitorous dog. You want me to starve to death? Is that your plan? Off with the head. I think maybe he was just taking advantage of the fact that you don't understand how food works. Taking advantage of me? Scoundrel. Murphy, eat Gordo's <gasps> food for me at once. Not Gordo's food. It was eat Gordo. Oh. <laughs> eat Gordo. The two Gordo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The two sirs look at each other, then stuff as much food as they can into the mouths before fleeing the cafeteria. Alas, how will I ever get my recommended daily allowance of nutrients now? You could try eating? Myself? But how? <laughs> you and Liam have a ton of fun laughing at Miranda as she learns how to eat food for apparently the first time in her life. How are you alive, madam? <laughs> oh god. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Veterinarian. Pokemon trainer. Stripper. <laughs> An accountant. Wait, I know Lyra picked the same thing. Wait. Uh, what? <laughs> girl. Hey. Hey. How likely it would be for Scarlos to get a job as a suggested? Oh my god. It's like he'll have to pick Scarlos. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Well, Skylos, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> wait, am I picking or who? Wait, am I? Yeah, yeah you're I mean, picking. Yeah, well, it's you. So how easy do you think it'd be for each one of these? Whatever, but it most likely would be for Skylos. How likely? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think maybe an accountant. Hey. Maybe. I'm not good at Pokemon training. Um, strippers oh. require a lot of ab and muscle, and I don't have any of those. <laughs> what, was the, what was yours, Fu Chen? Uh, veterinarian. Huh. Uh, the accountant first. Okay. Mm. Then. Dogs like me, I think. Hey! <laughs> and then. I mean, I could try being a stripper. Okay. Then stripper <laughs> and then Pokemon <laughs> trainer, because I'm not good at Pokemon, okay? Oh, I think it's That's the last one. Very... I went in a mysterious city when I was playing Pokemon Go one time. Never again. Oh, no. I think oh, this God. is the last school yeah, I think round, and the then next after round. that is when you ask out the people. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, wherever you'd like to go. Give me money. Money? Money. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh, you save a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not good at it. The day you spend some time on the library PCs managing your start kicker, you decide lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. Awesome. Nice. More 20 you gain 1,000 monies. No, <laughs> but that's more. But oh, oh, <laughs> a bajillion monies. <laughs> 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 I'll but almost you. everything goes to cover the cost, and you keep only plus two money. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> you see Liam starting staring at a cell phone, sighing deeply. I'm so sorry you get so many lines with my food, John. It's okay. Maybe one of his favorite bands signed to a mainstream record label, or the exact shirt he's wearing is featured on a magazine cover. You decide to check in with him. Ooh. You know, start uh, oh, yeah, actually, that jacket is awesome. Works too. You know Start Kicker? A via website where people crowdfund projects not good enough to get real investors? Wow, thanks, Liam. Do you not know why you exist? <laughs> Ouch. <Kickstarter>. Yeah. <laughs> Worked out for them. Now they've got two sequels. Well, today I found something of some interest. A time machine. I mean, it's clearly another terrible overpromise that would be released at least a decade after the due date. And in the end, it'll be way shittier than promised. Like a toaster attached to a clock. <laughs> oh, God. A toaster attached to a clock. Genius. You discreetly write down the idea in your one million bucks notebook. Let's see if you can beat those guys to market. <laughs> but I was sighing deeply because I couldn't help but think, 
Supposing I were to require such a machine, I wonder where in time would I go? Oh, let's go. 85 BC, so you can be into existing before it was cool. Everyone knows <laughs> the dopest time in, is, in monster history is 1925, specifically July 26 at 2 a.m. Is that a thing? Should I go? I have a Um, I'm just gonna do. I'm just give me, give me one. Give me one. Which one? Oh, it's a thing on. Oh. You're actually Googling Are you Googling oh, yes, it? I Googled it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Googling um, it too. Uh, the French team of Robert Benoist and Albert D. Devo won the 1925 French Grand Prix through the race was. M oh. Um, oh. 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 Top one. Top one? Top one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. No! Uh, what happened? 3.85 billion BC? Uh, a billion of years before anyone involved any worthwhile opinions? How can I be ahead of the game if there's no life on the planet to see how ahead of the game I am? How can I show what a unique individual if I am if I'm the only individual? How can I be a brooding loner if there's no one to see me brood? He's <laughs> such a douche. Uh -huh. It's like that old adage. If a vampire is trend setting in a desert, but there's no one there to see it, is the trend even set? <laughs> you try to correct God. his memory about the adage, but you probably pissed him off enough already. You lose negative two smarts and negative one charm. Oh. No. I'm learning so much this stream. Oh, <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Um, send me back to class. I need some more brain. 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 I dare you, the first one in class. You sometimes come early <laughs> because you enjoy talking to the teacher. <clears throat> He's a bit better, but in, a bit better, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you excelling at cliched movie tropes. Aww. Aww. Gain plus two smarts and plus one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. Aww. Aww. The mind's barely on what you're doing, though. What you're really concerned about is your situation with Vera. Oh! Throughout her latest gang war, you've been her closest and most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. Did I fuck up? You worried Vera's become so dependent on your advice, she's blind to your true romantic intentions. <gasps> I'm gonna get advisor zoned. If only you had the courage <gasps> to tell her how you really feel. Uh, oh, you don't want to end up in the advisor style. <laughs> you it. I love this game. You're so lost in thought. Oh, wait. You hardly noticed Vera sneaking up on you. <gasps> Maybe that's also because of the invisibility cloak you helped her pick out. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> there you are. I was just going to pick you up. We've got a date tonight. <gasps> How is she not spilling out of those pants? Oh, a day! And perhaps your affections aren't quite unrequited. <gasps> With the heads of Monster City's major crime factions to celebrate the end of the latest gang war. <laughs> your son. That scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I thought that was the game! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you just crash. Just... Is it safe? Is it even safe? You're such a good and loyal advisor. I couldn't imagine going without you. Right. Of course. Try and hide your disappointment. You accompany Vera to the peace conference. But soon. You can have horse racing, but if you think I'm giving up murder's monopoly, you've got your head so far up your ass, it's popped back out your shirt collar. Damn. Barry the actual crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the actual croc. The actual crocodile. <laughs> Gumbozo Gianetti of the deranged clown assembly honks in disapproval. Timmy the knife baby chews his rattle menacingly. <laughs> All right, you scumbags, settle down. But it's too late. Larry the Croc unveils a wicked machine gun. Gumbozo <gasps> makes a rocket launcher out of twisted balloons, and Timmy the knife baby produces a lot of knives. <laughs> but I've got a gun. Hey, advisor, a little help here. I've got a gun. If you don't save Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and... Confess your feelings? 
kiss Larry the Croc on his big crocodile. <laughs> oh, Jesus. These are two very good options. Which I'm not sure which one you're going to pick. Kiss Larry the Croc for getting out of the advisor zone through sheer bravado. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck yeah. She even no. blocked. Yes. Oh, this will make her want me. She'll see how good of a kisser. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck it. If you're not going to get with Vera, you might as well get with a freaky crocodile, dude. You lock lips. What? What are you doing? Are you trying to bite his teeth off? Or are you... Oh. Oh, wow. She's oh, into it. Oh! <laughs> oh, damn. Larry the Croc is even more surprised than Vera. He and the other crime lords drop their weapons in amazement. Giving Vera the perfect opportunity to shoot them all with her own akimbo Uzis. <gasps> that was akimbo. <laughs> Love congers all, suckers. Pew, John, let's go. Now <gasps> wipe the blood and crocodile saliva off, Funky. I'm taking you out to dinner. Whoa, oh, we're here. doing it tonight. <laughs> Oh, don't blush. I know you were just trying to make me jealous by making out with that dangerous crime reptile. She How did you know? But you know what? It worked. <gasps> it totally worked. Yeah! Yeah! Get it, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! With Vera as the new queen of crime in your city, anything is possible. She even gets you plastic surgery to cover up the croc bites. <laughs> oh, Again, plus yeah. two charm and plus one fun. Yeah! So oh, we don't so even need you. to go to prom. We've already won, boy! Yeah, you already oh, won. Fucking, you don't gotta go! <laughs> Live your best life. Live uh, your dreams. <laughs> oh, that day during recess, you shot a half hour rave that goes crazy. Hey. Everything is fine until Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Damn, you don't even remember you suck at dancing. <laughs> but you decide to go all out and pretend it's a new dance move. Apparently called the Groovy Muska. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Muska. In Aww. no time, half the party is following your steps and joining the Groovy Muska all together. Yay! It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Oh. <gasps> Afterwards, Scott catches up to you, panting excitedly. Uh, bro, hey, I was just looking for you. I, I can't stop thinking about you. <gasps> this is sounding good. So I thought, maybe tonight, if you weren't doing anything. <gasps> yes, y yes. <laughs> we could maybe go somewhere private and, you know, use our bodies to. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Work out! He's perfect. Oh. He's such a oh. himbo. Oh. Okay. You may be a little disappointed, but you can still salvage this. You suggest the most romantic workout you know. <laughs> Naked basketball! <laughs> I don't even know what a French squat is. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is a French squat? What is a French squat? Let's see. French... Squat. French squat nanny. It looks like a normal squat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is the French? What? Do have a lot of booty. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Do you want to know? Oh, is it a sex thing? No. Oh. Hey, yo. It has to do with the bathrooms, according oh. to the dictionary. I'm gonna go with the naked basketball. <laughs> naked basketball? Oh, yeah, he would have liked the French squad. He's a dog. Oh, God. But isn't that sort of redundant? What? I'll put it in the seat. No! Seat. You explained to Scott that basketball is normally played with clothes on. It is? No way! Is that why all my teammates always wear clothes when we play? He always plays naked. Oh, man. <laughs> but the professional league is called the NBA. The Naked Basketball Association. Of course. Uh, um... No. It can't be. You're just trying to pollute my pure love of the game with your weird anti-nudity thing. Oh. I didn't think I was going to play basketball with no! you. No! Oh. 
Is this what I get for choosing over Defeated. the pickle? Defeated. You reluctantly put your clothes back on. Oh, you lose oh, minus two you charm. I was already yeah. naked. You were already naked <laughs> at that point. Naked and ready already. Naked. You just had like tear away clothes on. You were like, let's play naked basketball. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Oh my God. I want to go and do, I want to go to the bathroom. Bathroom? Hey. All right. You need a break? No. <laughs> this is my last chance at something good happening. You got this. That day, you skipped class intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. What the oh. fuck? Who the fuck runs security around here? Anyways, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. <laughs> By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've you're totally gained two boldness. Around the corner, you hear the sound of Princess Lee singing and Elish maracas, which can only mean one thing. <gasps> oh no, he's back! Oh, no, his face! <laughs> the face of evil. Yeah. This is drama. <laughs> I don't think eel. I'm playing the right game. I'm just so excited for the winter surf party. I could. We're all playing a dating game. Pio Chan is playing like a political thriller. <laughs> oh, I guess. I was going to say that I'm so excited I could burn down a medium sized village. But singing is a great idea, too. Let's do it. A whole new surf. <laughs> Mr. Feel the Eel harmonizes perfectly with Miranda's feudal ballad. A whole new serve, though you have served me through and through. As your feudal lord, if I get bored, I'll kill and replace you. Yay! Yay. <laughs> you give Miranda and her murderous eel a standing ovation. You're clap. You're already standing, so technically you just start clapping, but it still counts. Elo, I didn't even see you there, fellow surf. <laughs> you're definitely not a surf, but you're also not about to correct an eel with a hidden switchblade. Uh oh. Ba beautiful singing, princess. It's such an honor to join you in the magical wonder of song. You know. It's times like these that I'm so happy that I have serfs. I mean, if you aren't here, who would listen to my lovely singing voice? Me? Listen to my own voice? I don't think so. so sad. <laughs> sniffle, sniffle. Mm -hmm. Just the thought of Princess Miranda's songs going to waste. Oh, looks so cute. <laughs> so fake. <laughs> oh, so fake. don't cry, Mr. Feel the Eel. I know what'll make you feel better. Extensive and laborious party planning. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right, princess. That would cheer me up right away. I knew it. In that case, we're missing one critical thing for the winter surf party. Activities. This will likely be the only party my surfs will ever have the chance to attend. So we should make it as fun and memorable as possible. We, I'm just bursting with ideas. P -p princess, we could play shave the princess's neck. Each surf could shave your neck with their sharpest sword. Doesn't that sound so adorable? <laughs> OMG, I love it. Everyone will admire how hairless my neck is. I mean, well. <clears throat> my neck is already hairless. But I guess if everyone used their swords on my neck, it'll be even more hairless. Or we could ding a special princess pitch and fill it up with the cutest animal, feral panthers. Oh, princess Miranda, you could pet the fluffy panthers all night in your special inescapable pit. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Mr. Feel the Eel, you're a genius! Or we could simply <laughs> sit you down on your glory, on your gluttonous throne, and read aloud one by one a list of the atrocities and injustices you have committed until Poseidon himself smites you down. <laughs> oh down with the Merkingdom. <laughs> I mean, tee I love you, princess. Oh my god. Aww. 
Mr. Feel the Eel, you are so precious. I didn't even know peasants could be this cute. <gasps> Anyways, as I was saying, wow, a butterfly. <laughs> Miranda abruptly leaves to chase the butterfly, but oh wait, that, that means you're alone with. Salutations, comrade. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Salutations, comrade. comrade. <laughs> you have done well to weather the tyranny of the Vanderbilt so far, but fear not. The day of their demise fast approaches. The evil princess is falling into our trap just as we intended. She thinks she's just choosing a party activity, but she will actually choose the method of her actual own death. <sighs> the irony is as delicious as the sweat of her, of the proletariat. Bye, comrade. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. She returned. Bye, comrade. May the blood of the monarch salt the earth. I just realized that's Jacksepticeye doing the dark. Boy, comrade. Really? Wait, legit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I heard it really clear that time, and it was like, boy, comrade. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, fair wheel. <laughs> <sighs> Party planning can be so stressful, but I feel so much better after. Vivisecting that butterfly. Fun fact. The most beautiful part of a butterfly is its gorgeous, glistening stomach innards. Oh, did Mr. Feel run off again? Well, whatever. His party activity suggestions were so perf. We can just use one of them. Unless you have anything better in mind? Impress Miranda with a killer party activity. Well, not literally killer. Ideally, you're hoping for something fun, family friendly, and assassination proof. The security game, if you murder someone, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a game that serves the opium of the people, but there's no better opium of the people than actual opium. <laughs> so it came out smoking lots of opium. <laughs> oh, history no. lesson. <laughs> yeah. well, let, let's do the uh, security game. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, Go on. That okay, sounds got fun. A, shh, got a chance. What are the exact rules? No murder at all? So thrilling! Oh, and what about just mild homicide? Does that count as an infraction? And how many serfs should be killed for it to count as a real full murder? Mm. Ugh. And are torturing and other ways of pain infliction valid? Or does that count as cheating? Actually, if you lose by murder, then how would you win? By inflicting as much pain as possible without actually killing? Intriguing! So many questions! This activity seems so weird and silly. Not murdering? Who would have thought? No one being murdered around here for more than 24 hours? Unheard of. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts for your wild ideas. Oh god. You know, I, I don't even think I'm the main character of my story. I think it's the fish. <gasps> oh, Scarlos. Oh. Who are oh, none of them? <laughs> oh, Who are you, you asking? choose to go by yourself. That's great. I mean, same. I mean, legit. Hmm? Oh, wait, so I'm asked. Wait, wait, what was. What, 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 so you I get to choose you get to who, choose who, to who you want to ask to prom. Yeah. Mm. They might say no, so yeah, it's up to you who you choose, though. I feel like Liam. I don't know. Yeah? He, around. he has been stalking you. So I don't mm -hmm. know. You can ask Liam? Liam? I'm tempted. He seems the only one interested. I mean, Polly seemed to be following you around quite a bit too. But definitely Liam's the one who was always there. Do you think that like if they say no, you can keep asking? I don't think so. I think it's one. Okay, fine. Liam, I'll ask you. Liam, will you go to prom with me? Okay, but they kind of cute. Oh. They look cute together, yeah. You know, he selected it for you. Come on. <laughs> Funky. <laughs> I, yeah, I asked myself to prom. Are you ready? Me with Vera. Hey there. Ooh. Hey there. Oh, oh they look the green is so Whoa, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. She made me coordinate with her. Let's go. You kiss the crocodile ah. for her. Okay. Exactly. I'm gonna shoot my shot. Shoot your shot, baby. Oh, that's so 
cute. All right, you James. got this. I'm I'm between actually picking Miranda to see the, the ending of the fish story, or choosing Calculus to the one I actually want. <laughs> oh, do what your heart tells Aww. you. Or which one do you want to see naked? Sorry. Well, that's Calculus, but I want to finish the story of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll finish the story of fish. I will go with Miranda. Fish! All right, here we go. Oh, wait, that's kind of Oh, this singing. Oh. Yeah, they look great together, too. It's fire and water. Oh, God, oh. it's time. You finally ah. pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. <gasps> you what? and me? How do you stalk me all the time? <gasps> I'd rather go to prom with a bag full of garbage in my day. Ah, then why the fuck yeah. do you stalk me, you motherfucker? Sorry. <laughs> That'd be so disruptive. Ugh. Uh, Thanks for the insight, babe. I'm out, baby doll. <laughs> Enjoy embracing God. eternal solitude. Too uh, sweet. Bye bye. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bag full of garbage to court. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn, you're bad at interacting with people. <laughs> I fucking know that! I fucking know that! Oh, no. <laughs> to repent for the. What? The face is just like my boy now. To repent for the sin of making such bad choices, you were forced to walk around the school in the nude, accompanied by a nun who chanted shame over and over while ringing a big <laughs> bell. Oh god! Yeah. Classic. Let's do this. Man. Let's do this. James. Oh, with all of you. Courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Yuck! <laughs> oh, shit! Eek! My sister told me that I could get diseases if I dated commoners. <gasps> Stuff like crabs <gasps> or poverty. I must decline. Ugh, disgusting! <laughs> oh. What a loser. After that, you were forced to abandon your home and join the underground society of sad people who couldn't get a date for monster prom. Which is a fancy way of saying you had to live the rest of your life in the fucking sewers. You saved her life! <laughs> That's what I will say! Gross! <laughs> but I guess I got flushed down like the necklace I have. Oh god. No! You're, you're not supposed to flush them! How, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Yo, the same foot! I swear, I think Pucha's the only one that got a date, and that's why they put him last. <laughs> oh, you got this, wheel off. You finally forgot the courage and asked your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Uh, prom? Can I eat it? No. Mm. I don't know if this tingling is love or the five oh. energy drinks I just drank, but this feels like the right thing to do. What? <gasps> Let's go to prom oh. together. Oh. 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 How we we the third? Let's go! It was oh, baby. definitely the five energy drinks, but who cares? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yo, oh, they're about to make an L we we the fourth. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, about to make an L we we the fourth by whipping out your L we we. No! <laughs> we can't put the L we we away. I don't have it. Don't worry about it. Joy. Not part of me. We can just borrow <laughs> Damien's cock. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. Tom Knight was rad. You danced all night, and most of Scott's dance moves were basically workouts, so you ended up utterly exhausted. It wasn't your idea of getting all sweaty with Scott, but you're definitely getting closer. Um, oh. Bonky. <gasps> you didn't even have to. Karam? You know what, my dear advisor? <gasps> I think lately I'm focusing too much on our crime adventures. It'd be, it's nice to be rich and feared, but what's the point if I don't get to enjoy life from time to time? <laughs> so I have the feeling prom night could be a great way to unwind. What do you advise me to do? She's blushing. <laughs> Everything, all the things, and then she, she winks at you. That's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has an eye covered. I felt that. I have that Aww. problem too. <laughs> In the end, you and Vera have a lovely evening together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, shit, bitch. Step 
up on me. <laughs> Followed by lots of thrilling crime adventures. Yeah. Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even support her career by being her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of juggling being partners in both love and crime. Mostly because Vera's great at everything she does. So she reminds you constantly. Oh my god, we got the fucking marriage ending. What the f- Damn! Also, she reminds you that the two of you may be partners in love, but in crime, you're still superior and advisor. I love it like that! <laughs> That's Vera for you. And under all that ferocious confidence, you can also perceive a deep respect for you. Just, just don't bring it into the bedroom. Oh, so man. beautiful. Crime is always the answer! Crime! Take that home with you, yeah. kid! That was Remember a secret the ending! Oh my god! Wow. Good. Legitimately, oh, Fuchan got really the weird. secret, amazing, Most 10 out of 10 ending. never be understood. <laughs> oh, oh, wee wee. <laughs> this place, oh, wee, wee. if idiots could fly, this place would be an airport. <laughs> well. Oh, wait, Ugh. that's so mean. <laughs> it was a fun game. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was really fun. For sure. Oh! Yay! Yay! We didn't even see some of these guys. No, we yeah. didn't get the, the the goth at all. She's like a really common character too that shows Dang. up. Dang! Oh my God! Wait, the blob is an actual character. Saints. <laughs> 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 I love the knight's armor at the bottom right too. Damn. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Salad. Oh my God! Ogre girl at the top left. Jeez. Oh yeah. Uh. The gym. The gym girl. Damn. The Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> oh kind of sad we didn't get more Damien, actually. True. Yeah. He didn't like any of us. He just didn't stalk any of us like the others did. He was just having his own life. I guess yeah. that means we have to play Monster Camp. You know we do. You know, I'm so <laughs> down. I'd love to play Monster Camp. Yeah. Yeah. I thought this game was really cool. fun. Yeah, heck I had yeah. so much fun. The next one has to be revenge time. <laughs> I yeah. have to get absolutely destroyed and you guys have to win. Stop! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we are and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Miranda used her vast knowledge of serfs to get a job handpicking the best serfs for other people. Not surprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work. Oh my god. Vera built the Overland Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they are also into lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Overlin? And I'm Mr. Overlin now. Yeah! <laughs> we have started an I iconoclastic band that broke all conventions. Latest album has been a hit. No songs at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed longer than life. And then it was gone, just like that. Did they say what happened to Puppy Boy? Didn't say no, they didn't gone. say anything. It's hmm. just gonna be a mystery forever. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. He's being on mushrooms to this very day. <laughs> <laughs> battle for monster problem might have ended then but there are plenty of battles left in that war called youth once again we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start yeah oh ending song this Woo! is so good yeah oh my god really cute oh and it's you guys oh shit yeah that's us paired up oh, oh my god that was the character from monster camp on the left side oh my god Ooh. look Skyla. Your favorite. Holy on the bottom left. Holy shit. Oh my god. god. Yo, space boyfriend's still chasing him. Jesus. Hey, come on. Oh. Yeah. This is so precious. <laughs> I'm feeding the grass boy. That's so cute. <laughs> this is great. Aww. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Oh, look at us. Yeah, look at that. That's Aww. so cute. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yo, let's go, Scala. Oh, all of us. The brown. <laughs> <laughs> what is Oh no. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm, boy. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter is back. 
Okay. Oh, Calculus. Calculus. Oh. 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 Damn. Oh, hot damn. Beef. Beef. Yeah, yeah. Beef. Hey. The tiger is so Tony beefy. the tiger. About the XD. XD. Hey, yo. Oh, the party. Oh, oh. finger guns. Oh, oh I, they finally gave me my gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the play. Oh, so cute. Cool. This is so cute. That's so precious. Oh my gosh, she is so slay. Yeah, she is. She mm. is so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Thank you for like. Oh, oh, oh we got the secret in! That's for you! The that was for is you. all over the body! Oh, that was God. so cute! You've just unlocked an erotic fanfiction about dragons. What? Well, I feel Dragon seen. Heat. Congrats. This is about Dragon to get heat. weird. One night, no limits. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel seen. You are my boy. You earned that. <laughs> Oh, it was so much fun though. Alira, thank you for coming up with this idea like yeah, months ago. You. Yeah, it was so fun. Thank you, thank you very much, Alira. Senpai. It was really fun. I want to do it again. Yeah, yeah thank you, we Gio have to play for joining us. Everyone yeah. did amazing voice acting. That was so much fun. That was, yeah, that was fun. Crazy. That was very fun. Mm -hmm. It's been a long while since I played this game, so it was fun coming back to it. <laughs> yeah. I love how when we, before we started this stream, I was like, I've got like two hours. I've got to get to bed. And then I was like, no, we're staying for the end. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know it's fun. like quite a bit longer than like what they say it is. I think in the solo player mm. mode, it's like when you play solo, it's longer, but it's pretty much in that time frame. But when you play with mm. other people, it just it's a little it's, it's quite long. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it, though. Ooh, yeah, man. that was so fun. Now we can play Monster Camp. Yay! Yay! Oh, really excited for Monster Camp. And I think they released a third one like two or yeah, three months ago. Yeah, Monster Road Trip. I have that one too. Let's Ooh. go! Yo, let's go! Yeah. Let's go. If we play camp, oh. we can play Road Trip. Oh, we will be spamming each other over the next few weeks then to find time. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for having us. I'm gonna head out. Have a lovely night, guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta go! Yeah. Oh, it's Carla, no! Yeah, we're gonna head to bed now. Thank you, everybody, for watching! Thank you guys. I'll Thank see you. you later. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.